one two one two or if you lot can hear me um someone put like a thumb, thumbs up in the um comment i just i just sorted out the mic now i just had to re put it in on obs um let me sort this out Oh, Kaya Oslo. How we doing? Oh, let me close that off. Right, so, uh, sorry people, a bit late, you know. I had to have, quickly have some dinner before I jumped online, but it's all good. Right, it's 10 people inside the cut. Who's we got inside? Kaya Oslo, what's good? Navir, now we good. Thank you very much for uh, confirming the... Uh, the audio, Larry Patterson, how you doing? You're all good. Vincent, how you doing? Uh, Navir, been waiting all week, bro. Like you asked for it last week, man. So we're gonna bring it. Over. Told you, man. I'm gonna bring bring the content for you lot in it. If you want me to go through my crates, then <gasps> go through my crates. G Boogie, what's good? How you doing? Who else we got in the chat? Who else? If you all don't be shy, just put like put a little high, put a little emoji inside the um in the chat we got a lot to go through tonight i got um a lot of crates a lot of crates a lot of stuff um yeah probably have, hopefully have some big discussions hopefully we'll try and stay away from um streaming and uh all them conversations i've actually been in talks with uh, a few youtubers to try and help get the uh the streaming conversation um span up and there's another topic that i actually want to touch on as well um the windows versus mac conversation with djs um but we can get into that another time but right we've got 15 people in the chat make yourselves make yourselves known man like just drop a little comment drop a little comment inside the uh, the com uh inside the comments and we can get going man obviously <clears throat> i'm hoping that everyone in here is a Serato user or has used Serato. Um, even if you're to us, this can work if you use record box, tractor, virtual DJ, all them things there in it. So let's wait, like what time is it now? Let's wait, what, one more minute and then one more minute and then we'll just get straight into it, man. And then hopefully I can help you out with your music organization. I'll show you all the different ways I use um to to um organize my music library because I do a lot. So, Brad, have you ever tried mixed in key app? Nah, you know what? I can't remember if I've reached out to them. I need to. I can. I can reach out to them to do like a um a trial or a video for them. Um, I've never. I just never really seen the uh the need for mixed in key. Like, obviously, what is like what is what does mixed in key bring you in it? Like, does it, it analyzes your music? It tells you what key your tracks are in, but Serato does that in it. G Bark, how you doing? Right, All right, nice. People got the uh, little conversation rolling in the chat. All right, cool. Let's get started. Um, where's my phone? I just heard my phone buzz. Let me put my phone on Do Not Disturb, so I'm not disturbed during this. Keep all the attention on you lot. Seventeen viewers in the cut. Right, so. Serato crates. Um, so at the start of this year, I um I reorganized all my crates. My crates were all over the place. Actually, no, you know what? I've, been, I've always been quite organized. Um, but I think this year I kind of went in with my organization. So hopefully, what I am going to show you today will help you with your organization. Even like you don't have to copy exactly what I do, but you'll try hopefully you can get some kind of ideas of like how to organize your music in it so like i said to this year i made a so i made a 2023 folder obviously 2023 is next year but i thought you know what let me get myself ready for next year in it um so i made this folder here so i've got some others up which we can talk on later but the main crates so the main folder i work from is my 2023 folder so if i open this up um we have a bag full of crates. 
down here, down here, loads and loads of crates in here. And then inside each of these, um, I have sub crates um, inside and there's lot like there's loads. And the way I organize my music is kind of just by like scenarios, um, which I'll go through later in the video as well. But what I've done or what I tried to do is organize the order. So you see the order that it goes down, kind of organize the order as if I was in a club, like what would I play first? Let me put that crate at the top. What would I play second? Like, like what kind of section? So I'll start from the top and then I'll work my way down. If anyone has any questions, drop them in the chat. I'll take a break, have some, answer some questions. Like we got, got a lot of crates to go through in it. This is probably going to be like an hour and a half, two hours, but just sit back, relax, ask any questions, feel free. Um, just before we get into it, um, also for removing comments, key BPM channel album art. Yeah, it is good. Like Brad, you know what? I might dive into it. I might just check into it and see what it's saying in it. Uh, do you separate classic trap from new school trap crates? We'll get into that. We'll get into it all. We'll get into it all. Right. So starting from the top, um, opening mixes. So say, for example, you walk into a club. Um, it's not busy at all. And you've got some things to do. You've got like some some staff members to catch up with you've got some things to do around the club and you might want to just put a mix on whilst you're doing that in it so i have this crate here so hopefully everyone can see this on the screen i've made the text in serato um i made the text in serato big enough like as big as possible so you can all see so opening mixes so i will go into here and i will just select like a mix depending on depending on the venue i'm in i'll select a mix so um majority of these ones so i think all these five sorry these seven mixes are all house mixes so just your basic 120 bpm tracks who just mixed in with each other like they've been mixed by different djs um i'll put these on if i'm playing to like a commercial venue or something like that um sam's brunch four hour mix this is an old school r&b mix this is just a four hour mix uh that my boy times two did big up times two and then viper two that's like a that's like a commercially house starting mix and it goes into R&B and then literally after you've played this mix, you can just jump straight in and then start playing like your R&B and hip hop and stuff. So depending on the scenario, I'll jump in and play any of these um, these mixes. And I feel like every DJ should have a mix um, on their computer. Like just if you're, say for example, you you turn up late, you turn, you're, you're like five minutes late to your gig you can quickly put your equipment together, put a mix on and then get yourself together and then you can start in it. Or say, for example, your lap, like, I don't know, music cuts out, you can't access your music. Oh, well, actually, that, that won't work because it's in Serato. But if you need a mix because something's gone wrong, it's always good to have mixes um, on your computer. So that's the first crate. So I like to, like I said, I like to order things as if I would play um, in the club. So starting thing, the first thing I'll do is run with some opening mixes. Uh, for every gig, do you use a different playlist? So G Bark, I literally, every single gig, I am inside this crate here, 2023. But, and depending on what happens in whatever gig, there's always a crate for any gig in here in it. But I'll get to that, I'll get to that later on. So after opening mixes, I've got opening. So inside opening, I've got opening R&B, opening hip hop, opening UK, opening remixes, opening Afrobeats, garage, dancehall, UK funky, um, house. Oh, hang on, let me open this up. Oh, house um, and then Afrobeats opening set. So when I say opening, it's like... Say, for example, you got into a club, um, you got into a club, you don't want to play a mix, but you want to play some sort of music, like you want to play some Afrobeats, dancehall, um, but you don't want to play the bangers. You don't want to play stuff that you're going to play later on. These crates here are for me to literally jump in and be like, you know what? I fancy playing some old school. I, I fancy playing some R&B this, um, this set, like, like the first hour. Let me jump into here. And then all the tracks in here, Oh, hang on. All the tracks in here. So I've got, uh, this is actually an overall crate and I've got a sub crate in here. So I've got opening R&B before 2010 and then opening R&B after 2010. So the tracks in here, 
literally are i can jump into any of these tracks play one let me just pick one now this one here goat 2.0 this is a nice chilled out r&b track i'm not going to play it main set um i can play this and i can just work my way down talk remix new flame chris brown let me open up the uh artist column new flame chris brown you got you change me jamie fox you see all these tracks here these are not in my main set uh, main set crates these are not in my warm-up sets these are my opening tracks because these tracks i'm not gonna play during a main set like unless i'm playing like a specialist party these tracks i'm not gonna play in a main set so all these tracks here um all these tracks here are tracks that yeah like i like to just open up with like if i even if i scroll down so we're in 70 bpm right now let me just scroll all the way down we're down to 95 bpm i've got champion chick monk chris brown uh, Risk It All, Jacquees, big tune, by the way. Tonight, um, New Chick. So these are just all, do you know what I mean? Love Sets You Free, Kelly Price, Aaron Hall. Like All these tracks here are like old school R&B or new school R&B, but they're not particularly um, tunes that you'd play um, in the main set. And this is, I just like having these crates because when I, when I walk into my set, I want to know that I can just jump into any of these folders and none of these tracks are going to interfere with my set um like later on down the line so yeah that's this is just how i have it um i was told by a very seasoned dj when it's early play songs from like 2015 you can play songs from whenever you want at the start in it as long as you're not gonna play it like think about it are you gonna really play let me try and think of a song that everyone in this chat will know are you really gonna play um flipping fetty wap trap queen at 9 p.m do you know what I mean? Like that came out in 2015, I think, but you wouldn't play that like, because that's a, that's a big track. Whereas all these tracks in here, these are all chilled out music. Like these are just nice, calm music. And the thing is the way, the way, the way I do my sets, right. And I say to every single DJ, the first hour is you warming up yourself. I don't know about you lot. Yeah. But when I get, when I start DJing the first, I don't know, two, three transitions, they're a bit, you know, they're a bit, not clean because I'm not warmed up. My like my arms ain't warmed up and myself ain't warmed up. Every single DJ, the first hour of your set, I feel like you should have one of these crates here, like, and you should play tracks that you like. Like, say for example, you like old school R and B, right? Play an hour if if the club's empty, obviously. Play an hour of old school R and B to get you in the mood. If you play music that you like, you'll warm yourself up. You'll feel good. Then when people start coming in and you got to cater for them, you're already ready. Do you know what I mean? The first hour of your set, play what you want. Yeah, like for me, say for example, uh, about two weeks ago when I played in Walkabout, I went into my opening Afrobeats crate. I literally started at the top track, won it all, burner boy, 80 BPM, and I worked my way down. I love Afrobeats now, yeah. Afrobeats is a in Afrobeats is an amazing genre. And Afrobeats is an amazing amazing genre. And but the thing is, I don't get to play these tracks main set. I, I love Afrobeats, but I can't play these tracks main set because the crowd that I play to don't know them. They only know the bait tracks like Soundgasm, um, Drogba, Burner Boy, yeah, all them tracks. But these tracks here, I like to play them myself. So for the, for the first hour, I'm playing these tracks because I like them. They're, they're like, and then when I'm listening to the tunes, I'm getting myself all ready. I'm feeling good. And then by the time I finish my opening set and then girls on the dance will come in, yeah, I can start playing the Beyonce for them. I don't particularly want to play Beyonce and I don't particularly like... Um, I don't particularly, how should I say this? I, I, I'm not, I don't want to say I don't like Beyonce because I love Beyonce, but like, you know, like when you've got to play songs for the crowd and not for yourself, like what before that you want to play for yourself, man. I've, I think it's so important that every single DJ plays the first hour for themselves, man. Be selfish. Even if it's the first half an hour, be selfish. Even if people start to come on the dance floor, be selfish, man. Be selfish and warm yourself up. I am so, like, I'll be perfectly honest with you lot. I am so rusty. The first 20 minutes of my set, yeah. Like I've just driven to the set. I've talked to a few people. My mind ain't right. I play my first tune. I do the first transitions. Oh, it's a bit, you know, it's a bit shaky. After an hour, I'm cool because I'm warmed up. I play tunes that I like and I'm ready to go. So everyone in this chat now, when you do your when you do your next set, play 
tunes that you like. If you look, if you like old school R and B, put a, put an opening old school R and B crate together, and then play that for the first 25, 30 minutes. And I guarantee you'll be warmed up and you'll be ready for your next. You'll, you'll be ready for the set. Ooh, right. Anyways, um, once crowd get in, DJ for the women guys will follow them. Facts. So yeah, so opening hip hop, I don't really play that much. I feel like I can't really play too much. Like, you know, I haven't really actually tested this crate actually, but yeah, opening UK music. So you got your slower stuff. You got some like Western. Like I, you know what? Western is a great. Like some of their tunes are great for opening sets. So if I type in up here, uh, Western, right? They've got some bangers. Armageddon, Mama Stay, Re Up, Love Struck, Vice Versa. Like these. Oh, you know what? I love playing a little bit of Western at the start of my sets, man. It gets me in the mood because you know what? Western are Western are such an underrated group, man. Um, you guys from the US, yeah. If you haven't listened, if you haven't heard Western, go and listen to yeah. If you haven't heard it, listen to Professional Love. Um, where's that other tune, man? Past Time. See this tune here and Mama Stay. Where's that? Mama Stay. If you ain't heard about Western, listen to one of them free tunes, and I guarantee, right, you're gonna be playing them in your sets. You go guarantee, I guarantee. Um, opening remixes. So I, I I download a lot of edits. Uh, well, I haven't really done it recently, but I've done. I, I I've got a lot of edits in my my in my music library. I got over a thousand. I think I got over a thousand. Um, yeah, Navir, give me two seconds. Yeah, I'll go for it. Um, I've got a lot of um edits in my library, and the the thing, the problem I had before, and this is what I mean, like with your music library. Um, with your music library, right? Um, you need to kind of figure it out for yourself. So, for example, I had all my remixes in one folder. Yeah. So when I'm trying to find a remix, I'm scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. But then I was like, you know what? Let me separate them out. So there's always going to be remixes for opening set. There's going to be remixes where you'll play for main set, like to get all the girls dancing. Then there might be remixes that you play in your main set. And it doesn't make sense to have them all grouped together because you're going to be scrolling, scrolling, looking for them all the time. So I've just made this opening remixes just so I just have all my opening remixes grouped. Like some of these, some of these mashups don't really make sense at all, but I like them. Like some, there's some good ones in here, but I wouldn't play them to a large crowd because they'll just be like, what the hell? Um, Navir, so you ask, can you show all smart crate rules? Um, I mean, they're all. They're, I don't need to show them all, but they're all the same. So opening remixes. Uh, if I go into edit here, I don't know if you lot can see that, um, but actually, this one doesn't. This one doesn't really do justice of how I set it up. But the comment contains opening remixes. So what I done was I went through all my remixes, and then if I thought it was an opening remix, I'd scroll over to the comment here and then type in opening remix, right? Then I'd make an opening remixes crate. That's all it was. But you see if I open in UK, if I open this up, it's got the genre is music and then the remixer is yellow. So basically the way I determine my opening tracks is the, ye is, is the yellow color. So in the remixer column, I'll just put over here. So if I go over to here, remixer equals yellow. If the track is yellow, that means it's an opening track for me. But the thing is, this is just what works in my head. Like I know in my music library, red means slow jams, like your pretty Ricky grind on me's and like nice and slow ushers. Yellow is your opening set stuff, that stuff that like, like opening sets that not everyone will know, but I like to play because I like the track. And then green is like main set bangers, things that everyone will know in it. Um, so that's just my like my little color scheme um, that I use. Um, does it take you longer to find the right UK song when you've named it to UK music? Nah, not at all. Every single track that I bring in, is just UK is is UK music. Like I did have like you know like when you download from record pools, you have like UK hip hop and UK rap and UK music. Like it's, it's just too hard to organize all that stuff. So any UK song that comes, I just I just put, I put it as UK music. Then then I'll literally I'll organize it further down the line. So I might have so from if from if the UK we'll have drill or we'll have like Afro swing, but I organize that later on and I'll show you like, um, in a bit. Um, 
it was like evening uh dj warren p what are you saying bro you all good um so all for all the people that's just joined what i'm doing is just i'm just going through my crates and i'm just brain dumping everything in my head of what why i do certain things in it actually that reminds me actually let me just go on to twitter and just tell people about this live stream because i want to try something here i want to see if i can get this live stream over to 50 i've never done that before so copy hang on people one second copy this delete that <clears throat> currently live streaming talking through through all my crates come join <clears throat> right so sorry people uh where was i where was i where was i king d what's good bro might as well play bangers and remix of bangers um yeah i mean like but you wouldn't you wouldn't play the the bangers at the start of the set like why would you play a banger at the like when no one's in there in it, do you know what I mean? James, what are you, what are you saying, bro? You all good? Um, right, back to what I was saying. Thirty, all right, thirty-four people in the cut, lovely. So, uh, also fun, rare new hits people would like. Yeah, fair. Um, okay, so opening Afrobeats, opening Gary. So everything in here is just self-explanatory, and I've kind of explained it already. So opening dancehall, opening UK funky, etc. So everything inside opening is just tracks for me to get myself warmed up. Like the crowd might not necessarily like it. That's why I don't play it when they're in there. But all these tracks inside opening, this is this is like <laughs> opening is my time. Um, oh, yeah. Matt Joseph. Yeah. yeah facts. Um, yeah. Opening is my time. Like I'm selfish. The first hour of my set, I am so selfish. Like if people come up to the booth and like, oh, what's this? Like it's too early. Like let me get myself warmed up and then I'll focus on you lot later. I guarantee like. The amount of people that come up to you at the start of the set and they're like, oh, play something that can get us dancing. But the the dance ain't ready yet. Yeah. It's not time for them to get ready yet. Like, I need to warm myself up. You lot go get your drinks. And I guarantee I'll know the right time to get you lot dancing. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, that's just that's just how I think. Um, right. Who else has got stuff in here? King D said hello to you. All right, cool. Um, all right, so we've just so we've got we've done opening mixes. Um, we've gone through the opening set. Um, so now it's time to get on to the warm up and main set. So if you if you if you see, I've already I'm doing my order. So opening mixes, opening, and now we're in warm up and main. Inside warm up and main, it gets a little bit tech, like gets a bit a little bit complicated. But like I said, people, it works in my head. So it might it might make sense to you lot, but yeah, uh, let's open this up. So in here, I've got two separate crates: warm up and main set. So let's start with warm up, right? Oh God, right? There's so much stuff in here, man. Do you know what? It's crazy how this all makes sense to me, but this might just confuse the hell out of you lot. But this is just all a brain dump, and hopefully, it might help you out. You never know. Right, so all warm up. So every single warm up track I have goes in here. Yeah, every track that I think is warm up or I've like classed as warm up is in here. So the smart crate for this composer contains all warm up. So once I after I organized all my music, so you're going to see down below, I've got a lot of different scenario crates and stuff like that. After I put them all together, I literally put a tag on all them tracks and just said warm up just so I need this just so I just so I can build this crate. So this crate I don't really use because I don't like just being in a massive folder um of music. So if I go down to here, more current warm up. So if I go into these crates here, right? more current warm-up if i edit this oh actually that no, doesn't make sense ignore let me ignore this crate actually let me do you know what let me delete this crate that this one doesn't make sense okay ladies sing along so you're in dance who the who are the first people that you want to start getting on the dance floor who are the first people that you want to start getting on the dance floor girls the reason why you get girls on the dance floor is because they're the first to actually come on the dance floor like if you think about it 
when have you ever seen guys go on the dance floor first in there? You don't see the guys running on the dance floor with their drinks with their guy mates in it. It's always the girls. So I've just started building this lady sing along crate just you know, just to kind of cater for the girls and stuff like that. So tracks in here are stuff like Dilemma, Empire State of Mind, Umbrella, Buy You a Drink, Miss Independent Re um, Remix, Big Up Raymond for that one, Irreplaceable, No One, No Scrubs, Love on Top, etc, etc, etc. So like I said, people, I like to just have scenario crates um, in my library. So say, for example... Like, say for example, right, you're you're on the dance floor, sorry, you're DJing and you've got a group of girls in front of you. If you've got this massive folder of music, you're going to be scrolling, scrolling, thinking, rah, like, what can I choose now? What can I choose now? Like, yeah, you can go for, you can go for no scrubs. You can go for like, I don't know, crazy and love Beyonce. But what if you have a folder ready for you? Like, if I know I want to make the girls sing... I jump into my lady's sing-along track and I have like what? How many tracks are in here? I have 16, is it 16 in here? I have 16 tracks in here that will make the girls sing. Do you know what I mean? And I don't have to struggle searching and looking for tracks. Like the way I see it, yeah. Um, the way I see it, um, why make things complicated for yourself in it? Like why, why put st stress on yourself? Make a crate to make your life easier. So you can like, literally, if you need to make the girls sing, jump into this crate. Um, how come songs that are opening, you also have in warm-up crates? There are songs that kind of mix together. Like there might be tracks in the opening that I might play in warm-up. Do you know what I mean? It's, they're going to cross over, aren't it? I can't just fully separate. Like the thing is, I'm not going to be fully separated. Like, oh, I can't, I can't have in my warm-up crates what I have in my opening set. Do you know what I mean? It just, it, otherwise I'll just get, I'll, I'll end up spending too much time organizing my music in it. Like imagine like everything in my opening set, I couldn't have anywhere else. Like I can't have that. Like you have to be like, if you organize too much, then yeah, you'll, it, it will just get long for you. So yeah. So Matt Jones is so true. The lady sing along crate is perfect. Yeah. Something like this, something like this. It's just something, it's just something good to have. Um, so earlier I said that I have opening remixes. I now have warm up remixes as well. So let me just change this to BPM. So I've, I have opening remixes, uh, sorry, warm up remixes. So all these tracks in here, I can play um, to get the girls dancing and stuff like that. So you've got Rude Boy remix, uh, Empire State of Mind, there's an edit there, Dilemma Down On Me. And if I scroll down, um, if I close this a little bit, bring the BPM in a bit. If I scroll down to like 100 BPM, all these tracks in here, I've got Empire State of Mind remix, uh, Don't Tell Them Do Wop, Be Honest Do Wop, Freak of the Week edit, Despacito edit, like all these tracks here, if you're playing to like a commercial crowd, they're all going to vibe to to all these tracks. Do you know what I mean? So I've got some warm up remixes. How do you do, how do you set up smart crates that have an opening and warm up together? So in my warm up set, it might have a tag in the comment saying, I don't know, club classics, but then it might also have the remixer yellow. So say for example, I could just have in here yellow, and then this will put it into my opening set. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah. So, like, Navir, you can do this. Like, you know what, Navir, like, message me afterwards and I can help you kind of figure all that stuff out. Otherwise, I could be on this. Like, I could be on this. If I spoke through how I program all my sets, I could be here for 10 hours. Do you know what I mean? Um, can we get CV crates? As in, like... You want all the list of the tracks inside these crates? Is that what you want? Because I do do that. Check the link in the description down below. Um, yeah. So next, we've got ladies remixes. So it's the same. So basically, lady ladies remixes is so, like some of the tracks do live in warm up remixes, but these are just catered for the ladies. So say for example, I wanted to just play remixes, but there's a bunch of girls in front of me. Boom! I've got a, I've got a crate for ladies remixes, so I can just scroll down here, and you've got no scrubs. Um, no games, Mr. Independent, um, drop it like it's hot, get into it, Rude Boy, Raymond mashup again. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, you lot might be looking at this and thinking, bro, oh, CB does too much, but it just works in my head. Like, I don't always want to play the same girl tracks every single week, so I'll switch it up. Like, if I want to play some remixes, I can jump into here. If I want to play some original tracks, I can come down later, I can come down later on and play, um, 
the crates I'm going to go through in a minute. It's just like, if you, I feel like if you don't organize into separate things and separate scenarios, you'll end up playing the same stuff every week. Like, I like to switch it up. Like, I can cater for the ladies in three, four different crates. Remixes, originals, um, sing-along. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just, I, this is just how my brain works in it. Like, this is, this is just how I, like, literally, I'll, the, the, the way I've built all these crates is just built by experience. So, I might be at a club and there's a bunch of girls on the dance floor. Then I might play, like, New York, uh, sorry, Empire State of Mind. And I'm thinking, oh, what other sing-along tracks are there that girls can sing to? So then I came home and built a, a, a lady sing-along crate. So now when I get in that scenario again, when I play M Empire State of Mind, I know I can go into lady sing-along and then I can play Umbrella. I then can play Let Me Love You. I then can play You Remind Me Always On Time. Do you know what I mean? This just It's just about making your life... Um, it's just making your life so much easier. Um, ignore this crate here. This is just something I built recently. Um, okay, very commercial dance hall. Now this was this 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 crate is one of my best warm up crates that I have. Right. So how uh, can I explain this? So obviously I love playing dance hall, but everyone doesn't love dance hall. And sorry. Let me take that back. I love playing dancehall, but not everyone likes all the deep, dark, deep, dark, all the deep dancehall, like your Vibes Cartels, your Movados. But, but there are people in the, like there's going to be commercial people that want to hear No Game Serrani and they want to hear, what else we got? Murder She Wrote. And they want to hear Who Am I Beanie Man? They want to hear Light Glue, Sean Paul, Rum and Red Bull. Yeah. So I built this com very commercial dancehall crate to cater for them people. So say, for example, you want to play some dance. Say, for example, you <clears throat> you love playing dancehall, but you don't really have the dancehall crowd in front of you. Like, you know, your skilly bang and your vibes cartel. You don't have that. If you want to play dancehall, why not build a very commercial dancehall crate to cater for everyone in the building? So if I start from the top, right, you've got Rompin' Shop, Who um, Who Am I Beanie Man, So Me Like It, Heads High. Just from them four tracks, I guarantee you lot all know them. Let me come down further. No Games, Dude, Murder She Wrote. Then i got a few remixes in here. Everyone Falls In Love, I Am Blessed, um, Nothing To Go So, Light Glue, Fever, Rum and Red Bull, Hold You, Toast, all these tracks here are these are these are commercial bangers that everyone will like. And this was the problem I was having before. Like I wanted to play dancehall, but the crowd didn't like the dancehall that I wanted to play. So I then built a commercial dancehall folder so I could both enjoy dancehall as well as cater for the crowd. Like, tell me a rave you've been to and you've played and you've played Get Busy and it hasn't like got a good reception. Yeah, Get Busy. Um, what is it? Summertime by Vibes Cartel. Like all these tracks here, like when I'm playing in my commercial venues, like I want to play some dancehall. So I'll play all this stuff that everyone knows. So again, this is another scenario crate people. Like um, it's another scenario crate where I wanted to play dancehall. I couldn't figure it out on the set. So I came home, built a crate. And when, when I went back the, the week after, it was so easy. Like you play, you play Serrani no games, right? And the place erupts because everyone loves it. That, now you want to carry on them tracks. So why not build a crate that helps you, helps you with that scenario? Um, okay, ladies, this is just self-explanatory. So every single track in here is just tracks for the ladies and the smart crate for this. I went through every single track and comment and in, in the comment column, it has ladies club. I need to update that actually. But yeah, ladies club. So any track that I feel that is for the ladies, I'll mark in the comment ladies club and then it will come into this smart crate. So now I can jump into here. Let me close my eyes, roll down and stop here. There you go. Boom. <laughs> don't tell them Jeremiah. Tell me what girl don't like that tune. Do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah. So if you've got a bunch of girls in front of you, jump into this ladies crate. Boom. You know what I mean? You've got all the tracks that you need for the ladies. Again, make your life easier. It was like, 
it doesn't make you a better DJ because you're not organizing your squat and you know what tunes to pick because you know what to type for and stuff like that. Like, just be smart and like, just make your life easier. Just make a ladies crate to cater for the ladies and then you can just sit inside that crate for like 20 minutes and just keep the girls happy. Um, oh, God. This is getting more complicated. Um, so green old school R&B warm-ups. So these are just all my old school R&B tracks. I, I'm not going to go into these too much because... These don't really make sense to like, uh, these are just things I was testing out before. So actually, you know what? Let me delete that, delete that. We don't need to go through them today. Um, R&B, okay. So this, this, this one's kind of an interesting one. So R&B, hip hop, UK and Afrobeats warm up. Um, so I don't know about you lot, but I do get tired of listening to and playing Crazy in Love, Single Ladies, um, Crazy. I feel like I feel like I'm attacking Beyonce here. I need to stop that. <laughs> uh, crazy in Love, No Scrubs, um, In the Club. Like, obviously, them tracks are easy warm up tracks. But why not? Wh why can't we play more current tracks in our warm ups? So, say for example, like, why can't we play Bosi? Um, Wiley Idris Elba in in warm up, do you know what I mean? So in here, um, I've made a cr I've made some crates of warm up tracks that are over the years, like which are past the year of two thousand and ten. I think it is. I think is that what I've done? I think all these tracks in here. If I go to years, um, year year year. Yeah, all these tracks here are over the years of 2015. So if I don't feel if I don't feel like um playing no scrubs and crazy in love and what's another bait warm-up song that everyone like Serrani No Games, if I don't feel like playing them tracks. I'll come into one of these crates here and play something a bit more current because if you think about it, right, all the kids, all the all the teenage, like all the eighteen year olds now, they don't really know. Like, obviously, they know about Crazy and Love, Beyonce and stuff like that, but like, they want to hear more of the current stuff that they've grown up with recently in it. So let me try and find. Let me try and think of an example. Actually, do you know what? Actually, like Freak of, Freak of the Week, um, Jeremiah Crept and Conan. That's that's an example of a more current up to um up to, up to date um warm up track and then stuff like 679 um that's another that's another example of a uh, a current warm up track like instead of playing the bait the bait 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 old school tracks like return of the mac like come a bit more current so i like this is just for me anyway i built this crate just so i stopped playing the same warm up tracks over and over again and shout out my boy a dot for like kind of putting me onto this because we were talking on the phone and he was like he's tired of just hearing DJs play the same same warm up so let's start playing some let's start playing some um some some more current stuff like you can warm up with tracks from like 2017 2018 so in order in order to force me to do that I built a crate of tracks to just do that so if I jump into here, I can play all these tracks here, which are later than 2010, 2000, whatever. And it just won't be this. It just won't, I, I won't be playing the same stuff over and over. Like, like DJs, I guarantee, right? In your sets, you play no scrubs uh, to, to, get the girl, to get the girls dancing and get, keep everyone happy. Guarantee you play no scrubs, crazy in love, in the club, Serrani no games, um... Uh, Ao Chris Brown, uh, don't tell him. God, I'm trying to think of all these other ones, but um, Mac Joseph, because we want us to be safe. Yeah, see, see. Oh, actually, hang on, hang on. I've just, I've just missed so many comments here. Hang on. Do you organize the same way in Finder on your Mac, or you use iTunes and music? I got away from um, I got away from iTunes this year it was a scary time <laughs> i can't lie um i've been organizing my music in itunes for years since i started djing so since 2017 
I've been in iTunes. Um, but when I looked into it properly, the way iTunes organizes your music on your computer, it ain't it ain't friendly for if you want to upgrade to a new machine. Like, oh God, like I can't really I can't really show it because I haven't got it on my computer here now. But the way they organize the music, it's just like it's just a, it's just a, oh it's a mess. So what I done was I completely moved all my tracks out of iTunes and then built folders on my computer. So I can show you here. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see on here, but if you see on my files tab, these are all my genre folders now. Um, so I built, so I got 80s, acapella, Afrobeats, Christmas, dance, dancehall, house, hip hop. And I just, I, I use folders now um, because I I use folders because imagine if I want to, play from another computer I can literally pick up my folders and pick up my Serato folder and move it over and I'm ready to go whereas with iTunes right so iTunes only lives on Mac Catalina and below but once you go to Big Sur Monterey and stuff like that you now have to use Apple Music now now, <laughs> Apple Music, yeah, I don't know about you lot, but I hate it. And the only reason I hate it is because of the search feature. The search feature, <laughs> the search feature in Apple Music is dreadful. Yeah, I don't know if you lot know, I don't know if you lot have tried it, but I guarantee everyone that's using iTunes is on an older version of a Mac in it because if you went over to Apple Music, yeah, you're, yeah, I don't know. It might just be me, but I hate it. I hate it so much. So when I saw what Apple Music was like, I was like, yeah, nah, I'm moving to folders because say for example, right? Okay, I'm in iTunes in, um, in I got Mojave 10.14, or no, 10.15 or whatever. Say for example, that laptop breaks and I've got to go to Apple and I've got to go get a new laptop, which is going to come with Monteri or Ventura, which it is now. If I move, if I move my music library over to that computer, I don't know if it's definitely going to work because obviously I've got iTunes on this computer, but then I'm going to have Apple Music on this computer. And I've tried doing the import before and it didn't go smoothly. So now I'm in folders, right? All I need to do, if you see on the left-hand side here, I've got this music folder here. All I need to do, like, all I need to do is move this folder, like, the contents of this folder. Oh, God, don't do that. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> the contents of this folder from one Mac to another. Do a little bit of um, relocate files on Serato. I'm ready to go again. That will take me, what, an hour? If I've got to move my... Um, if I've got to move my uh, flipping, if I've got to move my iTunes folder and stuff like you lot, like someone said it in the comments. So, someone said it in the um, the comments. Yeah, don't uh, don't organize music in iTunes. It automatically creates folders by artists. So the way <laughs> iTunes puts your um, organizes your music is okay. You add you add your song into iTunes. Yeah. And then iTunes will create a folder structure for you. So it will do the album name. Then, so it will create a folder, an album name. And then inside that folder, it would be the artist name. Then inside that folder, it will be something else. And then inside that folder, it will be a track. It's just a mess. <laughs> like you want to have genre crates. Oh, if you, you want to have all your R&B in one place. You want to have all your hip hop in another place. You want to have all your Afrobeats in another place. Like... Oh, do you know what? Like, th like the thing is, I was so like for iTunes in it. I was so for it. But now, when I saw the change to Apple Music, I was like, "Now nah, I'm out." So, if anyone needs to know how to move out of iTunes into Apple Music, I've got a video on my channel, and I go. It's a free. It's a free video series of showing you how to get out of iTunes, how to manage your library after iTunes, and then how to add new music into iTunes. Like trust me it's a great video like i'm being biased obviously but yeah just think about it right you love itunes now but if your laptop breaks and you've got to move to a new mac how easy is it going to be to transfer over think about that um 
milk tray. What are you saying, bro? Like, I appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. Um, I love when UK people say atrocious. <laughs> um, there was talks about Apple Music being dropped. Yeah, see, like, I don't know, man. I feel like being in iTunes, it just, it's, 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 it's worrying because you never know what might happen. But what, if you have folders on your computer, I just feel like it's a little bit more safe, but that's just me. And also, when you're backing up your music library, it's a lot easier to move these folders onto your, your hard drive than your iTunes folder and stuff like that. It's just long, man. It's long. But yeah, um, right, that was my rant of Apple iTunes. I completely lost my thing. But anyways, back to my crates. Whew, right, so Club Classics. Um, this crate is my most used crate ever. I think I literally think it's my most 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 used crate ever. So Club Classics is your standard. You know, any track in here will make any crowd, any person in the crowd go wild, kind of thing. Like, and this is gonna be your bait warm up stuff. So in here you have stuff like Fifty Cent in the club, um, Rihanna work, drop it like it's hot, um, No Game Serrani. Uh, Bosi, this is how we do it. Montel Jordan, uh, Return of the Mac. Um, what else we got? Let's have a look. Um, Baby Boy, Beyonce, Pass Out, Tiny Temper, Gold Digger, Kanye West, uh, Still Dre, Tipsy, No Scrubs, Shy Guy, What's Love. Every single track in here, yeah, is say, for example, I don't really know the crowd that well i've gone to a new venue i don't know the crowd that well i'll jump into here and i'll play some tracks in here to kind of figure out the crowd i'll always 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 start from my warm-up i'll always kind of start in here this is where i'll figure out the crowd like you drop 50 cent in the club people are gonna be like go go shawty that's my you know I mean? all that and then from 50 cent in the club you could probably play beyonce baby boy rihanna work drop it like it's hot you know what i mean and then you, it's, it's like playing it safe, but kind of being able to figure out the crowd at the same time as well, isn't it? Um, so yeah, so Club Classic. So originally, I just had one entire folder of um, just Club Classics. I just had one folder about maybe two months ago. Then I started to split it. So now I have super, super commercial Club Classics. So say if I just want to cater for some super commercial people. So if I scroll down to the bottom, you've got Hollaback Girl, Bad Vibes, uh, Valerie, um Amy Winehouse hot in here 24k magic like everything in here is just for the commer super commercial people in it but then I also wanted to play some more current club classics so I then made a 2017 plus club classics crate so everything in here is more up to date so like I said like in the in the dances now in the clubs now you got 18 year olds right that were born 2002 2002 no 2000 in the wait no yeah 2003 to anyways they 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 they're going to be brought up on all this stuff like all the stuff they hear on the radio tiktok spotify these are going to be the tracks so if i go into here you've got um finesse um what else we got i love it kanye west bosi barkin nice to meet you all these tracks here are for the more recent clubbers. Do you know what I mean? If you're playing to like 25 year olds, 26 year olds, whatever, yeah, play in the club 50 cent. But like tracks like these, these are more catered for the new the new generation of clubbers, isn't it? Um, who we got here? So nothing wrong with those songs. They are hits, but you can read, read, read the read. You can read the crowd and they would, and they would like newer songs yeah like you can start playing like your standard commercial in the club 50 cents and stuff like that but then there might be tracks that there might be tracks so there might be a younger crowd and they might want to have some more current stuff they might start being like oh why are you playing all this old stuff all the time like i've, I've had it before like they've come up to me don't answer that in it um they've come up to me and they're like why are you playing all this old stuff play something more current um so yeah so in here i'll just jump into here and um yeah like this will just help cater for 
the younger crowds, man. Like, I feel like everyone's stuck in their ways of playing the standard in the club 50 cent tracks, blah, 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 blah. Change it up a little bit in it and be a little bit different. Um, sorry, someone rang my doorbell. I think the trick or treaters are coming around my block. I was I was just caught so off guard by someone ringing my doorbell at 10 to 9. Um, what about Crate Hackers for storing music? Some of them, t- uh, Crate Hackers. Do you know what? They reached out to me not long ago about doing something, but they never got back to me. Um, yeah, never really got back to me, but yeah. I haven't really looked at Crate Hackers. I can look at that after this to check it out. Um, right. Club Classics, bait commercial bits. Um, so bait commercial bits, yeah, stuff like Flow Rider Low. So you might be playing, actually, do you know what? Like, I think this is quite common. So if you've got, if you, if you're a DJ that got into um, DJing for like, you wanted to just play, old, old, sorry, you wanted to just play hip hop, R&B and stuff like that, yeah? You start getting to the clubs and then you're playing R&B and hip hop, but then there's a, there's a side, there's a, there's a, there's a group of people that want to hear Flow Rider Low and like American Boy and Temperature Sean Paul and old school Nicki Minaj. And you know what? Like I was the same, right? When I started playing in these clubs, I was like, I don't want to play all this rubbish. I don't want to play all this 120 BPM stuff. Like this is crap, la la. But then it gets to a point, yeah, where you're going to need it. <laughs> it gets to a point, yeah, where you are going to need, um, you're you're going to need all these tracks. So what I've done is just, I've just put them into a crate. It's a bait commercial bit. So let's go through some of them, right? So Girls Like Tiny Temper, Firework Katy Perry, Like a G6, Disturbia, Temperature Sean Paul, Bonkers, like, closer all these tracks here are a guarantee if you got into the game to just play old school r&b and hip-hop or hip-hop and r&b or whatever you don't like playing these tunes i know you lot don't like playing these tunes but there's going to be a time where you're going to need to play them and i guarantee if you've been in the scenario where you've needed to play these tunes i guarantee you play one and you're like oh my god what direction am i going to go now so why not build a crate for it Bait commercial bits. Everything in here, everyone will love. Run the world, girls. Um, only go in the world. Sweet. I don't even know why I got Sweet Caroline in here. Waka Waka. Do you know what? I only recently downloaded Waka Waka Shakira like this year. This tune bangs. <laughs> everyone loved this tune. Um, then you've got like, I got a feeling. Um, fl- yeah, here, here it is. Flow Rider Low. Flow Rider Low, Antenna, Shots, all these tracks here, man. Like these are these are just tracks that I guarantee you lot don't like playing. Like I guarantee you lot hate playing them, but there's gonna be a time where you're gonna need to play them. So have a crate ready for it. <laughs> ah boy. Do you know what? Like I hope this is making sense to you lot, man. Like all this stuff just makes sense in my head. And the thing is, like, I'm just trying to just dump all this information in my head and just help you guys out because some DJs just don't know how to organize their music. They just like, they just don't know how to do it. Like you look at your music library, you're so overwhelmed and you're like, where do I even start in it? So this live stream is literally just to help you think outside of the box like how could i organize my music oh let me organize it by scenarios like try organizing one crate like build, mate everyone just build a ladies crate build a ladies crate and i guarantee your life will become 10 times easier when you get into the club you'll have all these girls on the dance floor and you can just hit them with all the tracks in this crate like make your life easier trust me listen to cb make your life in uh, make your life easier so Whew, warm up is done, right? Finish warm up. You're done out of warm up. Actually, no, you know what? Am I even finished? Am I finished? Yeah. Warm up's done. If anyone has any questions about any crates, just just give me a shout. All right. Main set. Um <laughs> Um Oh my word. God, we're gonna be here all day. Actually, no, we're not. No, we're not. Okay. So I won't go into this crate. 
so got on when will this live be available just got on when will this live be available uh scoey brabham this live will go immediately live on my channel uh as a to re-watch it straight after this so at about 10 o'clock this this video will go live um okay so main set so people i don't know like people this you might be a brand new dj obviously you're gonna have oh, the way i see it you have opening set uh warm-up set then you've got main set main set is like when everyone is drunk and they want to hear all the bangers so this crate here this is going to be like my crate that i'll touch at 1 a.m when everyone's drunk and everyone's ready so inside this main set improvements that's just something i'm working on so i'm not going to go into it but it's basically what you see here but just like cleaned up like i've deleted some tracks out of the crates and stuff like that so i'm not going to go into it so i'm actually going to remove that remove that and then we'll start from here so old old main set tracks so i went through all my main set tracks and all the ones that i just want to remove out of my crates i marked them with old main set and then what i'm going to do is go through all these and if i don't like the track or i think it's i, it's, I think it's pointless having it i'll delete it so what i'll do is i'll come to a track right for example bop the baby am i ever gonna play that again people in the comments are you ever gonna play bop the baby ever again answer me yes or no right so for me i'm never gonna play it again so what i'm gonna do is press command shift and delete and that's going to take it completely straight out of my music library, out of Serato and into my recycling bin. So what that actually does is it deletes it from my music folder, deletes it from my Serato and puts it straight into my recycling bin. And it's done. <laughs> it's gone. I ain't getting it back unless I restore it, obviously. But I feel like you need to be a bit more, be a bit brutal in your music library. If you're not playing it, yeah. If you're not playing it, remove it. Like, okay, look at this, right? You're DJing, you're in, a, you're in a busy club, you've got three, 400 people in front of you, yeah? You're scrolling, scrolling, you're like, nah, I don't like that tune, nah, not this tune, nah, not this tune. Why are you doing that? Why are you wasting your time? Delete it. Like, it's just taking, it's just taking up space. Look, back, like, I don't know. Uh, in uh, Actually, no, nah, I want to keep that. So, I don't know, pew, pew, pew. Like, this is a TikTok tune. Am I going to play that again? Command, shift, delete, gone. See, no hesitation. Like, I'm not gonna play it. Like, scroll down again. Corvette, 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 Corvette. Big Shark. Like, oh, look, gone. Like, I don't need them. Like, it's just taking up unnecessary space. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Anyways, so all these tracks here um, are just ones that I need to go through and just and then just delete if I don't want them in it. But then. What I have here is, so, yeah, so I can go to here. So I've got main set groups. So there's a different kind of scenarios of how I'll play main set. So if I go into here, so I've got all main set. So every single track that I've, that I think is a main set track is going to be in here. Uh, so you've got Drip Too Hard, The Box, Roddy Rich, um, Coco, Bodak Yellow, Funky Friday, if you're from the UK. Um, congratulations, Post Malone. No type. Squad on a little bit more. Look alive. Doja, Central C. All these tracks here. Every single track in here. One a.m. You play these tunes, and it's a busy crowd going off. If it's the right crowd, going off. Right. Commas, Future. Work down a bit more. We've got Butterfly Effect, Body Remix. Go down a bit more to like 100 BPM. You've got the Motto, uh, Big Mood, K Trap. All these tracks here. All all main set tracks yeah so if i if I, if i'm playing main set um i'll go through all these and i can just pick any of these tracks but not every single crowd is going to want all the main set tracks that i want to play so there's also going to be a commercial crowd so say for example you're playing to a commercial crowd but it's main set time commercial main set <laughs> like it just makes my life easier um navir how is so how is Smart Crate for all main set? Uh, I think I've just put a massive, oh, oh yeah. So grouping contains main set. So what I've done was I went through all my tracks and under the grouping column, if I can find it, have I got grouping here? No. 
Ugh, let's bring that over. So if you see here, under the grouping column, I've got main set. So say for example, so, I, so what I've done was I went through my hip hop crate, right? I pulled up my hip hop crate and I was like, right, picked a song. Is it main set? No, didn't put main set in it. Is it, I went to the next one. Is it main set? Yes. I then went into grouping and I put main set. I've done that for all 2000 of my hip hop tracks. Then I made this all main set crate and now I have all my main set crate, uh, tracks in here. That's just how I built it. So you'll have the same tune in various crates too, right? Yeah, Rice and P. Roy. Like I will have tracks in main set that will be in girls main set because, do you know what I mean? It's like these, these crates here are all based off of this one. But for, see, you see me, right? Um, obviously, I move my um, I move my crates over to Record Box, and you and the, I don't know. Record Box is a bit weird. I don't know about you lot, but you you can't you can't use sub crates in um Record Box. So say for example, right? Um, actually, nah. Let me not touch on that. It doesn't really make any sense. So it, it, like. Ignore everything I just said this then. Right, so all main set is here. Commercial main set. If I wanted to play a commercial crowd, I can jump into here. Mandem main set. Now, this is something that I actually need to work on, right? So I think I've talked I've spoken about this before. So oh Mac Joseph, transitional tracks, yeah. I deleted them all out of my library. <laughs> I, I dislike them so much, man. I don't know why I, I dislike them so much, man. Um, but we'll get onto that. We'll get onto that. So main set, uh, Mandem main set. So when I say Mandem main set, you know when you've got that group of guys in the middle of the dance floor, gun fingers up, massive mosh pits and stuff like that. This is their time, in it? So the problem I have, right, is it will come to, it will come to the, the Mandem section, right? And I'll play Pop Smoke Dior. Next thing you know, I'm panicking, thinking, what can I play next? Because the problem I have is, right, you play Pop Smoke Dior and the energy comes up so high. And then you're like, what the hell do I play next to keep this energy up in it? So then I, I actually need to work on this. But if I do do that, I'll, I'll drop Dior, then I'll come into my Mandem main set. So if I find Dior in here, right, let me see if I can find it. Dior, Dior. All right, search Dior. All right, let me just drag that up here quickly so I can just find it again. Right, so I'll play Dior. So I've just, so you've all just played Dior, right? Right, let's go into, let's, let's go down. So we can play Shake the Room, Pop Smoke. We can come down. So if we want to stay on the hip hop, we can play Pop Smoke uh, in um, Shake the Room, come down even further. Welcome to the party, Foreigner, Apollo, Mo Bamba. Like all the tracks in here should keep the energy up in it. So that's what this is why I built this because it's just to help me. Like I'm, I'm not the greatest. Like I'll openly admit it. Um, I'm, I'm not the greatest at this whole hype stuff. Play Dior. I can play Dior. Play Welcome to the Party. But after a while, I'll start getting a bit like, oh. I don't want to play this anymore. Like I, I do. Don't get me wrong. I love seeing the man them gun fingers up, but I'm here to play for the ladies in it. I'm here to play for the ladies. So I'm I am I am struggling to play the whole main set man them section. Like, but to make your life easier, why not group all the man them tracks? Like you've got a massive mosh pit on the dance floor. Have a crate ready for it. How is a smart crate for these? Do you have man them in grouping section as well? Yeah. So inside man them, if I go to edit. Uh, grouping contains mandem. So inside here, if I scroll over and then go into grouping, I've got main set and I've got mandem. So it will be in my main set crate and it will also be in my mandem crate as well. Yes, it's complicated. <laughs> um, but it's just how, it's just like, this is just, this is just how my brain works, man. Like, I don't know. I don't know. My brain, like, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a weirdo. <laughs> Um, so then after Mandem main set, I've got girls main set, um, girls main set. So, 
So Larry Patterson, you said you should be in your trap folder, but how big is your trap folder? Like, see me, like, I don't really have a trap folder. Um, do you know what I mean? Like, I just don't, I don't have a trap folder. I just have like Mandem and like inside there, just have all my pop smoke and stuff. I don't know. May, may, do you know what? Maybe I do need a trap folder to like help me out. So girls main set, obviously from the top here, Bodak Yellow, Drip, WAP, 7-Eleven, I like it, motorsport, like, oh. so the motorsport thing, like obviously it's a Migos tune, but I think the Cardi B verse makes that tune. I don't know about you lot, but yeah, so all the tracks in here. So the thing is, I also think the thing is like, the, um, so guys, so not guys, so DJs assume that like main set, some, you know what, some DJs actually just assume that the main set is just for the guys. Um, but yeah, like you have to cater for the girls as well. So you need to be dropping your Bodak yellows and your motorsports and your Cardi B ups and stuff like that, all your WAPs and stuff. So you need to you need to cater for the girls, man. Like, because what, what you're going to notice, right, is if you start playing for the mandem too much, the girls are going to get not annoyed because they don't want to be in mosh pits. They're going to leave the dance floor. Then your dance floor is just going to be a full sea of man. You don't want that. <laughs> Play a few drill tunes, play a few um, hip hop tunes, get the guys all gassed. Once you're done with that, go back to the ladies, man. Like, just keep keep the ladies happy. If the ladies happy, your dance floor's good. Trust me. Um, Clout is a hit. Yeah, Clout's a big tune, big tune. And then bait main set is the same as commercial main set, really. But like, when I say bait, like, it's just tracks that everyone should know. And they're like, signature sign is that, is that the right word signature track so like if you hear the intro of it you know what track it is like the box if you hear ee, ooh, you know it's the box you hear bodak yellow dun, dun, dun. like you you know it's that track so if i scroll down what else is there jump man um dior like all these tracks here are just bait tracks like tracks that everyone just knows so if you drop that track you know that the um you know that the um the crowd's gonna erupt kind of thing no DJ has a ladies twerk trade uh, crate. Do you know what? I actually don't. I actually don't have it. Like I, I don't feel. I don't think I've ever been in a scenario. I think. I think DJ Alton. I'm guessing you're from the US because I'm obviously I'm from the UK. I don't feel like us in the UK have that that twerk. We don't. I don't feel like we don't need that twerk crate. I feel like. I feel like in the US, the whole the twerk crate is needed. But I don't know if in the UK, maybe maybe I'm in the wrong clubs, isn't it? <laughs> but um yeah, I don't I don't have a I don't have a twerk crate. I don't have one. Um But the thing is, right, my crates are just built based on the scenarios I've been in, in the clubs. I haven't had to deal with like like girls wanting to twerk in the club, so I haven't had to build the crate. Um the fellas appreciate when the ladies on the dance floor. Hundred percent, like Guys are not going to go on the dance floor if there's loads of guys on the dance floor, in it? Like, the way that the, the way the club works is like, oh, DJ Alton, you're from the UK. Oh, interesting. I need to start coming to the club that you're at if you've are if you got a uh, a ladies twerk crit, boy. Um, the, 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 the ladies appreciate when the, the ladies are on the floor. Um, yeah, so sorry. So obviously a standard night is going to be, okay, we'll, let's start from the top. So you, you, the club's not open yet, right? You've warmed up, you're, 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 sorry, you've set up and now the doors are open. The first people that come in the club are normally girls. Normally girls that have got ready with all their girls and they want to get in early because it's cheaper or whatever. Then they'll go to the bar, they'll get their drinks and they'll go stand by a table and catch up. Most of them haven't seen each other because they've been working all week, blah, blah, blah. So they'll have a few drinks. They'll have like, I don't know, vodka, lemonade, glass of Prosecco, whatever. They have one drink, yeah? Then they'll go to the bar, get another drink. And maybe on their third drink, the DJ plays something quite girly, right? Then they'll start transitioning themselves onto the dance floor. So now you have a group of girls on the dance floor. And now once one group of girls are on the dance floor, another group of girls will come on the dance floor because they feel comfortable because another group of girls on the, on the dance floor. Then now just keep happening over and over and over again. Next thing you know, you have a dance floor of girls. That's when you start hitting them with the single ladies and all that stuff. Then, to then try and get the man and everyone else on the dance floor, you need to play like your 
commercial hits. You play Return of the Mac or This Is How We Do It, the guys will start to come on the dance floor because they like that track. And there's also girls on the dance floor that they want to dance with. Do you know what I mean? And then now you have a bigger dance floor. Now you just have to just keep that dance floor, like keep giving them the bangers that they want. Then you'll change genres. You might play a bit of hip hop. You might play a bit of dance or blah, blah, blah. But once you've got that core crowd that you've just built, you're good. As long as you don't play anything stupid, <laughs> your dance floor should be good the entire night. Right. So that's main set groups. Um, drill um, so the guys in the US I feel like drill is a little bit different like so the way I think about drill is going to be a bit different to you lot but drill we have a lot of UK drill um, over here so hard drill uh, if you're from the UK you know all your like your Skengdo AM 6.7s Digger D's K Trap all that stuff I'll have in here so again this is just based on the past scenarios that I've been in right so I've been in a club where the man them just want to hear drill. That's it. And they don't want to hear the commercial RD drill or like your like your T and Wayne drill. They want to hear the hard stuff in it. So I've made a hard drill. Because the thing is, I'm not clued up on all these genres in it. So to make my life easier, I just made a hard drill crate of all the tracks that I feel like they will like. So in here, I've got Welcome to Brixton, Digger D, um, Digger D's... Um, freestyle, Golden Boot, Heady One, all these tracks in here. If you're a solid drill fan, then yeah, jump into here. Commercial drill, you're going to have your Central C's, your RD's, your this is Dave and Stormzy, all the tracks that the girls might like as well. Like if you play Central C in the UK, yeah, the girls are loving it, man. But yeah, so I felt like I needed to build a commercial drill crate because... Drill is becoming so mainstream in the UK right now. It's needed. It's so needed. Like Doja Central C is one of the biggest tracks right now, people. One of the biggest tracks. And the people want to hear it. So say, for example, you drop Doja. What do you follow it up with? <laughs> Build a commercial drill crate to have all the tracks that are similar to Central C, uh, Doja. And, um, and um, yeah, you'll be good. Sorry, I keep, you know, I keep seeing a comment pop up and I keep losing my trailer for it. JT, how old are you, CB? Do you know what? I don't think I've ever put my age out. If anyone guesses what my age is, I'll, I'll tell you in it. Put in, put in the comments right now. So obviously, everyone, look at my face. I'm looking a bit tired today, yeah? So take that into consideration. Everyone put how old you think I am in the comments and I'll tell it. Whoever, whoever's closest or whoever gets it right, I'll tell you in it. Um... Commercial drill section, hard drill section, ignore these. These are just me just trying to build a set for um, my drill. Right. Oh, let me have a little breather, man. I can, uh, I can uh, my breath. Matt Joseph, he looks 29. Navir, 30. Come on, people. Keep putting, the, keep putting the numbers down. Ricardo James, 30. Keep going, people. Keep going. Keep going. People, keep on number. 39. Jesus. <laughs> Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on, guess the age of CB. That's it. 36. Come on, two more guesses. Benjamin Solomon got 29. All right, well, let's 28. King King D, you should know my age, man. <laughs> 23. You know what, yeah? I like Coben O'Brien, you know. He's, he's a good guy. <laughs> Whoa, 32. Jeez. Do I look that old, people? Damn. <laughs> Oh god, 39, you know. I am 30 years old, people. So who guessed it? Ricardo James. Who else is there? Someone else put it. Navir, Ricardo, all got it right. All you lot that said 39. Oh my days. <laughs> 39. Man's trying to say I look 40. Oh my god. Do you know what it is, yeah? You know what it must be? It must be these bags. I'm not even joking, yeah. Like, you see all these late nights of me staying up DJing and me up editing videos and stuff like that. This is how this is how I look. But you know what as well? You know what? Don't watch it yeah. But I ain't had a trim as well. So this is this is this is this is putting some age on me as well, man. But you yeah, you lot are saying 39, man. Oh man. I, I actually look for 24. You all need to stay chew with the younger crowds, not having a trap crate is concerning to me. <laughs> Do you know what? Like um JT, 
Like the thing is, I feel like trap crate, trap crate, trap crate. Um, smile more. Imagine I do smile. Do you know what? I don't smile in my DJ sets. Do you know what? I don't know. Do you know what? We 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 <laughs> we need to talk about this. We need to talk about, like let me. Let, we're gonna have a little breather. We have a breather from the craze. We got we got all night, people. I can stay on there all night in it. Um, <laughs> I can't believe someone said I look thirty nine, man. <laughs> Um, what was I talking about? Ah, oh, God, I completely forgot my trade of thought now. Um, smile more. Okay, yeah, the smile more comment. Okay, so in my in in all my DJ photos, if you see me on Instagram, yeah, if you see me on Instagram, um, I don't smile. Like when I'm DJing, yeah, I'm like straight faced. Like I'm just like <laughs> concentrating, yeah. But the thing is. Imagine, yeah, I was in a dance. I was, in, I was in a, um, I was in the DJ booth. Imagine this, right? <laughs> yeah, King D. Imagine, imagine I'm, I'm in a DJ booth, yeah, and I'm just in the booth, smiling like this. Imagine that. Don't smile too much, but you look crazy. <laughs> oh, see, shock, shock HP just coming to the thing now. Look, listen, imagine that, right? Imagine it. Imagine I'm in the dance here. Like, actually, no, you know what, yeah? Imagine you lot. Actually, no, you know what? King D, yeah? Imagine, yeah? You walk into Walkabout, yeah? A man's in the DJ booth. Like, you come in, you got your drink, yeah? A man's in the DJ booth, like this. You lot think I'm, you lot think I'm on crack. <laughs> like, I don't understand. Like so many people say to me, "Oh, you don't smile enough." Yeah, but like, I don't understand. Like, do you want me to be smiling all the time? Like, and the thing is, as well, like when when it comes to DJ photos, yeah, I get so awkward whenever I see that camera. Like whenever I see that like, whenever I see that camera um, in my face, I like I shut down. I get what well, I get like well like nervous, and I'm just like so. I don't know. I just feel I feel so awkward when I um. I don't know. I feel so awkward, man. I just feel like I can't smile at all. I don't know. I don't know. I smile all the time. The ladies like it. I ain't. I ain't. Attra- I ain't trying to attract. I ain't. Attra- Look, Matt Joseph. Yeah. I ain't looking to tra- attract no women at the moment, man. Like, I like. like you know what I mean? I ain't here to be smiling, trying to attract women, man. I'm good. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, like I'm. The thing is, right. When you see me straight face, I'm focused. Do you know what I mean? If I'm up smiling, yeah, I ain't focused, man. Like, I ain't focused. Um, bro, purchased your crate offer recently. Also DM'd you on Instagram. AMV. Um, yeah, sorry. I'll get... Do you know what, actually? I'm going to put in tomorrow some time to reply back to my stuff, man. Like, it's... Yeah, I need to get, I need to get back some people. I take little to no time setting up crate. I mainly use that old tab in Serato and search. Yeah, DJ Big Scully, yeah. I get, I get it. I know a lot of people. Um, I know, I know, I know a lot of people. Um, just this DJ from the all folder. I can't do that, man. I can't do that. I can't be typing and searching all the time, man. Like I don't know. I'm just, I'm too organized for that, in it. I'm just too organized for it. Um, I'd think you were being held at gunpoint. <laughs> oh my god. Um. It's called cool, DJ. It's called cool, a DJ face. I don't smile over. Only the girls get a smile. I think I do my best. So he didn't send your crate AMV. Did I not? Did I not send it? I mean, it's all automatically done. But I can be the same. But if I'm having a good time, I smile. Don't force a smile. <laughs> like Joseph fan. <laughs> like oh, I don't know. I, I I just find this whole smiling thing creepy, man. I just find it bare creepy, bro. Bare bare creepy, man. Um, like don't get me wrong. Like if. If you see me, like, and you acknowledge me, then yeah, I'll give you a little smile in it. But I ain't gonna be in the dance. I ain't gonna be in in the, the um. I ain't gonna be in the booth just like smiling away all the time, man. I don't know. Like, I I I'm just like when I get when I'm in work mode, I'm just focused in it. <sighs> right back to the crates. We need to get through these. I've got so many crates. I'm I'm have to do a part two on this, you know. Um, but you know what? We have got 35 people in the cut, man. It's blessed. So uh, happy to carry on going. Um, right. So I won't go into these too much, but I split up all my main set crates by BPM. So I got 50 to 70, 70 to 80, 80 to 90, 90 to 100, 110 to 100, 100 to 110, 110 to 120, 120 plus. 
the only reason um, I do this is just so I can see how many tracks I have for each range. So say, for example, like, do you know, like, if you've got 50 to 70 tracks, right? So if I go into here, I've got all 50 to 70, 50 to 70 hip hop, UK, R&B. So um, if I go into 50 to 70 UK, if I scroll down in here, I haven't got that many tracks. So the reason why I do the BPM stuff is I can look in this crate and I'll be like, you know what? I actually need to get some more UK 50 to 70 tracks. Like, look, how many tracks are in here? I only have 32. Like, I should have more than that. And to to maybe to improve my, my, my sets, I could add some more UK tracks in here and just, like, make my sets better in it. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's the only reason why I really do the, the separation, the 50 to 70 and stuff. But, like, sometimes, say, for example, the, the, like the way I normally play is, like, I'll do my warm-up, then I might jump up to 50 to 70. If I jump into here... 50 to 70, I can start with Drip Too Hard, play the box, uh, co um, Coco, Bodak Yellow, stuff like that. And then, then I can work my way down. So I've done all that. I've finished 50 to 70. I might want to play some 70 to 80. I'll go into here. And then I've got a choice of playing hip hop, UK, commercial, R&B. But I'll normally just go into like all. And then in here, actually, no, you know what? Let's go into hip hop. So if I want to play some 70 to 80 hip hop, I can jump into Look Alive. I can play Big Drip. I can play Lemonade, Paris, Mercy, all these tracks in here, man. Like, I just like having things separated. I don't really like having one big main set folder. Like, you see up here, like, obviously I've got it. Um, so if I go in here, I've just got too many tracks in here, man. It's just, it's just too much to choose from. So I've got all this stuff, man. And then if I've got too many tracks in here, I'm scrolling, I'm looking down, I'm thinking, oh, what tracks have I got down here, man? And then I've got to work my way up and oh, it's just too much for me, man. Like my brain, like my brain can figure out complicated stuff like the crates on the left-hand side. But like when there's just too much music in front of me, my brain just shuts off, man. So I like to just keep things nice and, you know, nice and small, nice and organized. So yeah, I've got 50 or cent. Like, I've just got like all these. But there's no point in me going through all of these. These are just how I split up my crates. And you might want to do it soon. But, okay, you know what? This is just a perfect example. From In 80 to 90 BPM, the only UK tracks, um, the only UK tracks I have are these four. So I need to now go to my record pools. And I, if I wanted to improve my 80 to 90, I could download some more UK tracks in it. So yeah, there's just not enough in it. Like I think 80 to 90 is more for like your hip hop. So if you go into 80 to 90 hip hop, you've got Many Men, Praise the Lord, Gangster's Paradise, Die Young, Pop Star, Black and Yellow, Bobby Schmurder. Do you know what I mean? You've got all these tracks, but for UK, I've got four tracks. So me splitting them up into BPMs allows me to be like, you know what? I need, I need, um, I need to go download some more music. So then I'll go into my record pool. I'll filter it by 80 to 90. And then I'll find what, I, I might find a new track. Then even if I add in four more tracks into here, I have more variety in my set and I can change up my set a little bit in it. So that's just, how, that's, that, that's just my reasoning of making these, like these, these BPM crits. Right. I just saw a load of comments come through here. Um, right. Um, Crates are good, man. I love how you use an Excel spreadsheet. Your videos are super easy. I'm OV. I appreciate that, bro. This is what I'm trying to do. And I'm trying to just make the... I'm trying to make things easier for DJs, man. Like, I guarantee, like... Like, Shock, you can probably, like, hear me out on this as well. Like, when you started, there was no one like me about... Like, there was no one to help you build your music library and, like, tell you what tracks to go in certain folders and stuff like that, man. Like... I'm just trying to be that guy I wish was there to help me when I started. Like, I've got a video on my channel of the the first message I ever sent to a club that got me my first residency. I put that on the internet. I gave you like a template that you can go download and use. You ain't finding that anywhere else on the internet. Like, I guarantee it. Like, if you say to someone, oh, how did you get your residency here? Yeah? They won't tell you because they'll be like, oh, you know what? You might steal my, my thing. Fam, if you want to know what I sent to my current residency, 
go on my YouTube channel and type in how to get more bookings. And I guarantee you'll, you'll, you'll find a, uh, a word template and it's going to say, yo, my name is DJ blank. You fill in the blank. I'm looking for more opportunities around your area. I'm just wondering if you're looking for any more DJs. Could you get back to me? Here's my Instagram. You enter in your Instagram, Twitter, whatever, send them that email and you might get a DJ set. Like I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just here to just help everyone out in it. Um, thank you for what you're doing to the, for the DJ community. Anytime, Matt Joseph, man. Anytime. Like I'm, I'm gonna start that the video, the video ideas I have now coming up here are just gonna be to help so many DJs, man. Like the the content I've got lined up here is just. I personally think it's just like it's great content in it and it's it's gonna be different as well so hopefully you lot come back and keep watching the videos and you lot keep interested like the ones i've got coming out this week should be you, you lot will like it if you if you've got a lot of duplicates in your music library stay tuned for the video that comes out this week in it and got a free application for you lot to use to delete all your duplicates um where we at no, I just DJ a hobby. I'm 17. To be honest, uh, I use Tidal Beat Source on my iPhone using DJ. Do you know what? I need to do a video using um, that DJ software as well because I think you can you can start plugging in um, like decks and stuff to your phone now, isn't it? I don't know how you're going to do that, but I'll figure it out. Um, where did I get to? You should stream or vid when you download and what you go from. Oh, DJ Warren P. Do you know what? I was actually thinking about that the other day. I was actually thinking about it the other day. That's an idea. I'm gonna I'm gonna note that down. I'm gonna note that down. How come you go as low as 50 BPM? I have my songs minimum 75. 50 in my crates would be like 100. 60 would be 120. Um. <clears throat> so shock. I made a decision. Um. So all right. So you've got the problem I had back in the day was I had tracks that were 60 BPM and I had tracks that were 120. Yeah. Say, for example, like I was playing a track at 60. I didn't want to have to go all the way down to 120. And if I didn't have the track, so if the track was at 120, I felt like I was missing out on music. So say, for example, imagine Bodak Yellow was 60 and WAP was 100 and 120. I would miss out on it. Do you know what I mean? So I made a decision to group them all together. It was either make them all 60 or make them all 120. And I went with 60. Like, so 60 is like my hip hop, my hip hop um, range. And then, you know, the 120, that's all your like commercial, you know, your, your flow rider low section. Do you know what I mean? I just, I don't know. I just don't, I don't feel, I, I, I just don't feel like it's right having my hip hop at, 120 and 130 i don't know again i'm weird but i had to make a decision because i felt like i was missing out on tracks like i'll be playing 70 bpm tracks but there'd be a bunch of 140 tracks that i'm i could play but i'm not i'm not going to be at 70 and then scroll all the way down to 140 to keep keep so i just grouped them all together i literally went into all the um the tracks that were 140 and then changed the bpms to 70 and then they moved up to the 70 so now all those tracks are grouped together um, I hope that makes sense. It's again, it's just a, another way to make my life easier. Um, yeah, I hope that makes sense. I hope it makes sense. <laughs> um, well, let me see. Uh, takes 35 salute champ from New York DJ, real DJ QQ. Appreciate it, bro. Smart crates are so helpful. Do you know what? Do you know what? Yeah, do you know why smart crates are so helpful? Yeah, it's because it saves you so much time like and it also it just puts the tracks into the crates for you like you add a new song into your music library yeah say for example you got a new back like it's friday it's new music friday you've downloaded a bunch of these tracks right and you've added all your music to your music library but you forgot to put that track into your main crate or whatever so then when you go out DJing, you completely miss it. But if you've got smart crates and you put the track in and you tag it correctly, it just automatically goes into your crate. So then when you're DJing, it's going to be there. Like, I don't know. I do like the manual crates, don't get me wrong, but I feel like smart crates is just, it just takes, I don't know, it just helps you out even more. Like, 
you put a create you put a song into your music library it just automatically puts it in there for you like why are you going to go in and drag this track to three four crates when you can set up a rule and it just does it all for you yeah the initial setting it up might be long but later on down the line when you've got your music library patterned then you ain't gotta worry about it like me as soon as i add the word warm-up into one of my tracks it goes into like four crates like it just oh it just makes my life so much easier um matt joseph i think beats i think that great i'm thinking of making beat source my main source oh do you know what we're 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 gonna have we're gonna have a nice chat about beat source and all these streaming software soon man i can't wait i cannot wait um acapella i don't know what that means you are that guy cb appreciate it bro true most djs keep it a secret like freemasons um mervin brown mervin b we saying bro welcome back thank you see you made me understand why it's important to organize like g bark like like it's just it just makes like personally i think it makes your life easier like and it also allows you to play tracks that you didn't necessarily think you were going to play like shock can back me up on this right the amount of times shock has um messaged me during his sets and be like bro remember this tune oh if i didn't organize my song man if i didn't organize my music library i wouldn't have found out this song do you know what when you go through when you organize your music here you find bangers this is what do you know what people i've actually stopped downloading new music recently because i've been organizing my music and I've been finding bangers that I can now play now because my music library is organized. Like, stop downloading new music and organize the music library that you have. And I guarantee you'll find bangers that you didn't even realize you had. And you don't even need to go out and download all this new stuff. The new stuff that's coming out now these days, I think it's crap. <laughs> I think it's rubbish. Like, some, okay, don't get me wrong. It's, it, it's, it's fine. It is good. Um... It's, some of it's good, but if you organize your music library, yeah, you will find some absolute gems that you can start playing in your sets. Trust me. Um, DJ Pro, you can do DVS. Yeah, I need to test that. Um, Native Instruments Controller. Do you ever use Ableton Link with other DJs? No, I don't. I have a Rev 7 and can use DJ Pro. I need to... Oh, okay. Man said I'm weird. Shock, I am. You know I am, man. Man's, man, <laughs> man's different. <laughs> Um, do you play quick edits? Uh, Warren P, are they quick edits? Are they like the short edits that literally it's like you drop it, it plays the, the, the chorus and then that's it. I do play, I think I've got a few of them. Um, how often do you clean up your music library? Good question. Um, every, I'd say about every two months, I'll go in and just delete a bunch of stuff. Like if I'm DJing and I feel like I'm scrolling, scrolling too much, I'll go home and just delete the tracks that I feel like just don't need to be there anymore. Um, so yeah, I think every two months, like I think it's important to clean up your tracks. Even if you don't, even if you don't clean up your music every two, three months, at least clean it up once a year. Um, Cause there's some tracks that will be relevant that won't be relevant next year that what so, sorry there's some tracks that were relevant this year that just definitely won't be relevant next year do you know what i mean like yeah you know like some of the tiktok trends that you might all the tiktok tracks that you might have downloaded this year they'll be dead next year like tiktok is moving so fast there's a new track on tiktok every week in it though the tracks that went viral last year ain't gonna be like popping this year in it um so yeah i feel like you should just have a nice clean up every every I don't know, six six months, I reckon it'll be good. That's good. Um, can you show genre crates? I mean, oh yeah, yeah sorry. So I think I feel like I'm rambling on here. <laughs> uh, you, I, I have to use this method of organizing my crates. I appreciate this. How can I send you music from the artists I work with in the States? DJ QQ, DJCB at gmail.com. Just hit me up, hit me up. Or hit me up on Instagram and then send it over to me. Do you use Serato Flip to create DJ edits? Yes, I do. Um, I haven't done it as much as I used to. Um, but yeah, um, I do a lot of... Um, 
I do a lot of, well, I use to row flip sometimes. Um, I use to row flip when I'm doing routines to just like jump to certain parts of the track. If you don't want me to do a video on Serato Flip, um, let me know. It's a very, very useful feature. So say for example, um, a good example of, of Serato Flip is what you can do is, say for example, you see Bosi, um, Wiley, Sean Paul's in it. Wiley, Sean Paul, Idris Elba, and um, Steph, is it Steph London? I think it's Steph London. Say for example, you wanted to completely miss the Steph London section and jump to Sean Paul's. You can do that using Serato Flip. Basically, you record it how you want it, and then Serato will save it. And then when you play it next time, it will it will play the thing that you recorded. So, say for example, you're playing your track. You got a cue point at the start of Megan's verse, and you got a cue point at the start of Sean Paul's verse. If you're if you got the Serato clip Serato Flip record on, you'll play it. Then when it's about to hit um, Steph London's verse. You click the cue point to jump to Sean Paul. And then once that's done, you press save. And then when you play it again in your Serato, when you play it again, um, it will automatically do that for you. So it will completely miss out um, Megan Thee Stallion's bit. That probably didn't even make any sense. I will make a video on it and sort it out. Ah, <sighs> God. Uh, that's why I stopped you downloading music. I'm on BeatSource. Got tired of the clutter. Yeah. Yes. Flip. Yes. Can you show the 120 sub crates? Um, yeah, I guess. 120, this this crate doesn't get any love. Look at this. 11 tracks. It just doesn't get any love. Like, I rarely play 120 BPM, man. Rarely, rarely, rarely. All right, I've been rambling on for so long. How long have I been live for? Wow, hour and a half. <laughs> um, I feel like, oh. But do you know what? There's 43 people in there, man. This is, this is, this is, this is, yeah, it's lit. Um, commercial. <laughs> so I've got a commercial crate. So commercial crap <laughs> and commercial without crap. So let's have a look. What have we got in there? Commercial crap. So I play in a walkabout, which is, um, which is, it's a sports bar, kind of. Um, but they have a lot of like football events and stuff. And I do in here have like um, all like the football tunes and the tunes for the rugby and tunes for boxing that I have to have on my computer. So I feel like all this stuff in here is just crap, like Nickelback and the fights, the killers and stuff like that. Uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers and stuff like that. Um, but then commercial without crap. Um, I had to separate them out because I was literally scrolling through here and I was like, this is crap. I can't do that, whatever. So then commercial without cr uh, crap is low flow rider. Um, commercial. What do you mean by commercial? What do, what do I mean by commercial? Like open, like your open format, like commercial, like commercial is like, like songs that everyone knows and everyone loves. You can play to any crowd and everyone will know it. So yeah, three times, um, 24K, actually, let me order this by BPM, it'll make it a lot easier. Um, my Humps, Black Eyed Peas, Like A G6, um, Pound The Alarm, Starships, Disturbia, Temperature, Bonkers, D Last Friday Night, Katy Perry, like all this stuff here. Um, yeah, it's 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 mad. It's 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 mad. Um, I like all these tracks here. Like, do you know what? I actually need to go through this crate and sort it, so, um, sort it out. Um, yeah, I've just um, yeah. Like, I, I I haven't really been doing too many like poppy commercial crates at, um, sets recently. Um, so I need to clean this out. What have we got here? I come to your sets in Reading quite a lot, and I want to know like how to gain confidence in performing in front of crowds. I spin DMB, so a bit different, but I struggle to do in front of people. Luke Selmani, hit me up on um, Instagram. Also, Amov, you are literally, like, you are the guy. Hang on. Bro, for me, you've broken the norm for all DJs and sharing great info. Please create a section where you made mashups. We'll DM you this week. Amov, I appreciate that, man. You know what? See, this is why I like YouTube, man. Like, People on here, like you lot are just like, I love this community that I've built, man. Like this is just like, MOV, you're the guy, man. I appreciate it so much, bro. Like I appreciate it so much, man. Um, yeah, DM me 
um, at the end of this or this week. And um, let's talk, man. Oh, God, man. Oh, God, I love YouTube, man. This is the, this is just great. All right. So commercial played on Heart FM there. <laughs> Mate, do you know what? Like, I don't, I don't play enough commercial stuff. I need, I need to start doing some more commercial sets, to be fair. Um, right. Let's start blasting through some of these because oh, we're going to be here all night. Right. House. Um, I need to sort my house out, but I, I need to sort my house folder out. But so I've got all house. I don't really want to, I don't really need to go through all this. Um, I don't really need to go through all this, but like this, these are just all my house tracks. And then I kind of separated it out. So I've got, so this is all house. This is just house, house. Then I've got, um, deep house which i have for, do you know what right when i first started dj i had so much deep house like deep house was kind of what i first started mixing because obviously you know like the the 120 bpm range and without there wasn't that many vocals and stuff it was so much easier to mix i had so much of it but i deleted it all i need to get it all back but you see this tune here yeah this running tune banger banger love it and there's tunes in here that I, I need and this one here please don't turn me on disclosure remix yeah these tracks here they used to bang man i need to get some more of this um commercial house so you know your tracks like uh james hype nathan door joel corey all the tracks in here so like if i was playing an open format set and they wanted house i'd probably be in here um yeah you've got head and heart um back and forth all these tracks here i I need to I need to clean up on my house stuff. I need to do a bit of practice at home, my house stuff. But I just I wish I had the time, man. Um, now you're not rambling. You're being informative. I have to apply some of these changes. Yeah, DJ Q, man. This is what I mean. This is the re so the reason why I'm, I've done this live stream tonight. Yeah, is not to show not not to like show you my crates to um not to show you my crates to so you can copy. It's just to give you some ideas. Just some, just some, just to put a new idea in your head in it. Like, shocked in the comments, and he knows that he's taken some ideas that I've given to him, and he's now like, yeah, my folder structure is packed. Let's not, let, listen. I'm, I'm here to just help you guys. Like, I'm, I'm just a weirdo with all this organization stuff because it just helps me. But you lot might not think this way in it. Like, maybe my, maybe my brain's just wired a bit different in it. But I just feel like creating crates for scenarios in the club is just so much it just makes your life easier like if i need to play commercial house i'll just jump into here if i need to play tech house look how many tracks i've got in here none <laughs> i i don't even know i don't think i know one tech house song i don't think i know one tech house song so yeah um remixes i'm not gonna go into here because i've actually touched on this earlier because i've, I've told, i showed you i've got all remixes opening remixes warm-up remixes and ladies remixes i'm not really gonna go into that but say for example i want to play a bunch of remixes i'll just sit in here um uk funky um i can i can touch on this crate here a bit so all my uk funky um you guys from the us might not know too much about it but if you know tunes about like Migraine Skank and um, Party Hard Deneo, then all the tracks live in here. UK Funky Green are just all the tracks that I love slash everyone knows. So I've just got Too Many Man, Migraine Skank, Head, Shoulders, Knees and Toes, Do You Mind? So the reason why I created this is because I've got a lot of UK funky tracks, but scrolling through these and finding the ones that I like is long. So I just started creating another crate with all the tracks that I just bait to everyone. Um, so it's just a lot easier to find in it. So if I'm playing a UK funky set and I want to play a tune that everyone knows, jump jump into my UK funky green and I can just jump into here and everyone should know all these tunes. I need to update this, but yeah. Grime. Um, if you're from the UK, right? Let's 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 have a little little bit of fun here. So who do you remember Free Yard Agro Agro Santos? Kidhood to adulthood, yeah. Brown bears picnic, swingers. Who are you? Don't phone me. Shock. I know you appreciate that one, yeah. This is. Do you know what? Yeah. Do you know what? I might actually like. I might run like. I might. Am I? Am I opening set and walk about on Saturday? Yeah. I'm actually gonna play this tune. Do you, shock. Do you remember this is the girl? Kano Craig David. Oh my days. This is what. Do you know what? Yeah. 
this is what I mean, people, yeah. If you clean your music library, yeah, and if you play, if you clean your music library and you go through it, look at these bangers you can find. This is the girl, Craig David. Are you mad? I, ain't, <laughs> I haven't played this tune in ages, but the, the reason why I don't play it is because it's not in my main crates. So I need to, I need to make some adjustments, you know. Do you know what? Do you know what? Where's my group? Where's my where's my remix? How can I put this in? Where can I? Ah, oh, I don't even know where I'm, gonna, where I'm gonna put this, man. Like honestly, this is just a banger. Do you know? What? I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move that out of green, just so I can see it next week. Yellow. <laughs> so hopefully, yeah, man. That's a big tune right there, man. Um. Brown Bears Picnic, you know. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go for a few more of these, man. Gash by the hour. Hey, shock. You all remember this? Rude boy. Regal players. Rude boy. Remix. Rude. Hey, ru listen. Oh my days. Um. Oh my god. Remember this? Remember Amon? Um. Is it? Is it Amon? Not Amon. Is it? Um. What's his? What's his name, man? Oh. But yeah, so this is this was the remix. This is re the reply to that tune, isn't it? Then you've got what else? We got Brown Eyes, Kano, Flow Fashion, Black Boys, Bashy, big tune. Who is a? Who is he? Wong. Never wanna say bye bye. Stand up tall. Adidas hoodie, Lady Sovereign. Are you mad? Oh, hey, listen, yeah. Crazy Titch. I can see. Oh, do you know what? Yeah, the UK. The UK. Yeah. Oh, the UK had some rhythms. Channel U days, man. Channel U days. Do you know what? Shock, yeah? We need to find a way where we can run these tunes and it goes off, man. Imagine we did a dance in Reading, yeah? Fam. Do you know what? If I was in a rave, <laughs> if I was in a rave, yeah, and a DJ dropped Adidas hoodie, yeah, I'd think I'd faint. Are you dumb? Oh, my God. Oh, Conk stuff. You know what? I'm gonna be in this. I'm gonna be in this crate for too long. Let's move out of here, innit? Um, garage. Oh god. Yeah. So, oh, where'd it go? Garage. So, all garage. Green garage, which is just all the bangers. Warm up garage. So, say for example, I wanted to open up my um my set with some garage. I can play all the tracks in here. Red garage. Delete. You know what? Just go into here. Command shift delete gone. Do you know what I mean? Like no one cares, man. No one cares. If I'm not gonna play the shoot, look, highlight, command shift delete gone. Don't need it, man. Look, this is how this is how you lot need to be with your music library, yeah. Like you're going into these tracks, you're you're seeing all these tracks, and you're like, nah, man, gone. Get rid of it. Like you don't need these tracks, man. Like, oh god, like yeah. But yeah, that, that crate there, red red garage, I'll just delete um, over time. Right, where are we? Oh my God, we got so many crates to go through, man. <laughs> um, I'm a piano. I'm a piano. Now, I don't know how much I'm a piano you lot play, but boy, do you know what? I'm a piano is ringing off in the clubs these days, man. And you know what? I wish I had more, but... I just haven't had the time to go through like SoundCloud and find the edits and the tunes that I want, man. But yeah, so in here we've just got we got a few we got a few crates in here. So Ama Piano, which is everything. So the smart crate in here is literally genre is Ama Piano, um, and then we've got green Ama Piano. So all the tracks that are going to be bait in the clubs. So you've got Bounce, Goya Major, Peru, um, Mona Lisa. Uh, Palazzo, Terminator, all these tracks in here, bangers. Um, very commercial Amma Piano. So like <laughs> these four tracks here. So if you needed to play very commercial Amma Piano, then jump into here. Um, hang on, actually Shock said something. Valerie is commercial, but Shock and CB will run that anywhere. Hey, listen, Shock, yeah. Valerie is a big, big tune, you know. <laughs> um, I remember when I had that song on Channel U, man was tied to the chair, kidnapped. Hey, oh, bruv. I was about 12 when this was out. The only crime I remember is that lot from Blackpool. Bet he's going to be looking for the... <laughs> nah, you know what? Co uh, Coben O'Brien, don't worry, man. Like, I ain't gonna, I'm not going to be looking for them tunes, but yeah. Right. 
Oh, God. All right, I'm blasting through these now. Do you know what? The last few are going to be quite quick. I think I've got like two more big ones and then that's it. Um... <sighs> Oh god, these crates are so big. Oh god. Right. Where are we at? So dancehall. Um I play a lot of dancehall now. Um walk about. Love their dancehall. So I've got all dancehall. Yeah. Every single dancehall track I have. How many how many dancehall tracks do I have these days? 556. Not that many, you know. Not that many. Um Group. So actually, no. Before I get into groups, because groups is the main, the main one. So old school dancehall. So the the rule for this is year is before two thousand and ten. Genre is dancehall. Yeah. <laughs> Shock. You're a dickhead. <laughs> um, mid school dancehall. Genre is dancehall. Year is before two thousand and eighteen, and the year is after two thousand nineteen. So it's in that middle middle section. So it's not old school. It's not new school. It's right in the middle. And then we've got new school dancehall as well. So anything over 2017. So some examples of old school dancehall, you've got Who Am I, Beanie Man, Romy, Heads High, Mid School Dancehall, Fever, um, Vibes Cartel, um, I Am Blessed, um, Flipping, oh, what's that Gaza Slim tune, man? Everything for Hold Him, all them tunes there, that, 2000, that, that 2013 to 2015 era of dancehall, unbeatable man obviously old school dance was the best but that era 2013 2015 of like popcorn only man she want oh my days that era there something special boy right so with dancehall the way i've figured it out is just by playing in sections so if i open up groups now we've got opening dancehall i haven't actually used this crate yet i need to try it out and i'm I still yet to use it but I might try it on Saturday. So then we've got 90s dancehall. So say, for example, you wanted to play 90s dancehall, create a crate for it. Literally, the rule in this is grouping contains 90s dancehall. So there's a tag in here for 90s dancehall. But just imagine I made a crate that said the genre is dancehall and the year is before 2000. It's, it's just it's the same thing in it. Um, so in here, just got a bunch of my nineties dancehall stuff. Um, I did have a lot. I like I've got I've got like I think I've got over like two thousand dancehall tracks, but they're on my external hard drive. Um, but yeah, so all these tracks here, you got traffic blocking, heads high, um, <laughs> champion, Buju Bantu, Nike Air, who am I? All these tracks in here. Then old school dancehall, they're kind of the same, but then these this does include a few. Um, like 2000s tracks so i think in here has like beanie man dude and stuff like that uh very commercial dancehall we touched on earlier uh, i normally play this in warm-up girl dancing dancehall so the problem i had with dancehall is uh, um keeping the girls dancing and keeping the girls happy like you you play like um what's like a what's a what's a tune i'm trying to think of a tune like i think of so you play like pull up to me bumper where do you go next like where do you go next what like if you if you was in your dancehall folder where would you go next yeah in here i've just got all tracks that girls like dancing to so you got wine and Koch, yeah puppy tail you got uh good body i can never say this good body gal forget things wind up your body brock off me cot throat um go your party animal all these tunes in here girls are dancing to yeah so, like I said, people, I had a, I had an issue where I was trying to get the girls dancing, that like dancehall, and now I don't have that issue anymore because I have the crate for it. Make your life easier. Um, dancehall tunes. So these are just tunes like Block and Delete, Alkaline, Straight Jeans and Fitted, um, Click My Fingers, Clark. So these are tracks that you wouldn't necessarily dance and twerk to, but these are tracks that you'll be singing, like gun things in the air, like kind of thing. Um Rum and Red Bull, like, are you really going to be shaking your bum to Rum and Red Bull? You know what I mean? So it's not a girl dancing track, but it's a tune. Do you know what I mean? I, d I don't really know how to name it, so I just put no dance or tunes. Um, then I've made a crate called um, Faster Dancehall. So all your tracks that are over 100, yeah, 100, 113 BPM. I need to build this, actually. 
Because normally when I go over this, I, I just play like Bracket Down, Mr. Vegas, duh, Willy Bounce. Is that even fast? Juk Gyal, Dutty Wine. But I need to kind of clean this up. Like my dancehall sets could be so much better if I clean this up a little bit. Because it just it would just give me another section that I could play. Um, I'll get into the Gunman in, in a minute. So you got slower dancehall. So you got She's Royal. Um, nobody has to know. P uh, Punky. Um, Love and affection, all these tunes here. Ladies dance all. So you in I don't really use this crate, but it's like all your shen literally it's just Shen CR and Gaza Slim. <laughs> all these tunes in here, but I rarely play in this crate. Gunman, I've started to live inside this crate. Um King D and Shock No. Um so you got Who Dem, Capleton. Come down, you got Wap Wap, Skiddy Bang, Crocodile Teeth, Ravers Gas, Batman Forward, Press Trigger. I love to see Boy Affy flare in the air. All these tracks here. All these tracks here are just like these. Gunman Dancehall is just ringing off in the clubs in the UK now, man. Like, it's just ringing off. Bad Man, Protocol, Gunman Shift. Listen. Again, I had the issue where the mandem in the dance wanted gunman tunes they wanted more skilly bang so i've created a crate for it and i've separated it up into new school and old school so your old school stuff's going to be your capletons and like your elephant mans but then your new school's going to be your skilly bangs and your skengs and stuff like that in it just separate it out to make it make my life easier Whew, right okay so i think afrobeats is my last quite biggish one and then everything else is just yeah, so we'll probably, what time is it now? Bloody hell, it's coming up to two hours, boy. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll be done. Within the next half an hour, we'll be done. So, Afrobeats, all Afrobeats, green Afrobeats, which is all the bangers, yellow Afrobeats, which is the warm-up stuff, and then very commercial Afrobeats. I need, to, I need to sort this out. But yeah, so I play a lot of Afrobeats now. Afrobeats is one of the biggest genres in the world, like I will say. Um, and I love it. So yeah, this is just my this is just my Afrobeats crate. Soundgasm, Pana, Go. Um, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that because I get it wrong all the time. <laughs> yeah, Burner Boy, uh, Skeleton, Finesse, like all these tracks here. Like, if you lot don't know about Afrobeats, man, get to know, man. Like oh, the genre is just so good, man. It's so so good. Um, okay, let me take a little breather because my throat is hurting. Um. If anyone has any questions, fire them down. I'm going to have a little one minute break before the last, last section, the last few sections. We still got 38 people in the cut, man. You know what? We've had 38 people. We've had between 30, like 30 and 40 people the whole time, man. It's sick. It's so sick. Like, I just like having a little DJ community online where you lot can just discuss in the comments, like chat about music, chat about DJing. This is what I wanted, man. Like, the thing is, like, I've created a YouTube channel and I'm putting videos out to you lot, but I like to be able to just communicate and talk to you lot directly, man. Like, this is what I'm all about in it. Like, I can make content and just chuck it out to you lot, but I like to connect with you lot as well, man. Like, yeah. Like, obviously, some of you lot thought I was 39. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, honestly, man, this whole... I, li I like to do the live streams. I'm only doing, like, um, one live stream a week. Um, cause I, you know, I would do more, but then I just kind of just, it would just get samey and I just run out of ideas in it. Do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, man, I'm just like, I'm trying to, I'm just trying to build this community and just build, do you know what it is? I'm just trying to help build a new generation of DJs that like, just, that, that, that just like, do you know what I mean? Just help the next generation of DJs, man, like build a new decent set of uh, generation next generation of djs man this is what i'm all about in it helping djs if you if you need any help with anything dj wise just hit me up man honestly like my dms are always open um i'm gonna get back to everyone that replied to me this week um but yeah my, my dms are always open man um the crate collection for sale do you include the music files or just the names of the tracks coben it's just the, it's just the name of the tracks so this is the thing I want to touch on, right? So <laughs> I would love, right, to give to give you lot all my music library. Like I have eleven thousand tracks here. I'd love to give you give you all, but what's gonna happen, right? 
I'm going to give you all my music library, yeah? Say, for example, I'll sell you lot my music library for £100, yeah? I can make a lot of money, yes. But I'm going to get done for it, yeah? Like, if I'm making money of giving away other people's songs and they're not taking the revenue and they're, they're not getting any money, they're coming for me, in it? And I'm not building this YouTube channel for it to get taken down because... I've sold music in it. Like, I'm not trying to do nothing illegal. I'm trying to keep everything legit. Like if you need one or two tracks, then yeah, I'll send it to you in it. I will send it to you. Don't get me wrong, but I can't send you 10,000 tracks. And I feel like it doesn't make sense for me to send you 10,000 tracks. If you're a DJ, right? You should be a music lover, a music collector. So you should, you should, you should, you should be proud to build your own music library from the ground up in it. Like you should be able to start from zero and build this music library and go to the clubs and kill your set with this music library that you've built. If I just give you 11,000 tracks, you've just skipped like the first year of DJing of building that music library. And this is like the hot, the music library thing is, just, it's, it's part of your, like, it's just part of your, um, I don't know. It's part of you being a DJ, in it? It's just part of you being a DJ, man, like building your music library. Because you know what's going to happen, yeah? I might give you my music library, yeah? But I guarantee later on down the line, you're going to have to sort it out and you're going to wish that you built it yourself. Do you know what I mean? Like, okay, I could give you all my crates, give you everything. But then it just, I don't know, it just wouldn't work like that. So the reason why I'm not selling the MP3s is because, yeah, I will get done. So I had to try and find an alternative to try and help you lot. So I'm providing you with a CSV file of all the tracks in my crates. So say, for example, you want to know every single Afrobeats tracks, <laughs> man, man do not president speech. <laughs> um, every single, um, if you want to know what Afrobeats tracks um, I have, I will give you the list of them. I don't like. I I don't care about sharing in it. Do you know I mean? Like I, I don't mind sharing like the crates. Like every track in here, I'll put into a CSV file, and then you can go listen to them and download them if you really want to. In it, um, like you can go to your record pool. You can go to heavy hits if you want to get heavy hits for the first month for four ninety nine. Use code DJCB. Um, but yeah, you can go to your record port and download these tracks in it. Like I'm already giving you a step ahead by giving you the tracks that I play in clubs in it. Like you have the like you have a list of all the tracks that I play in the clubs. So go and download them and you can play them in the tracks. But it gives you a head start. Like when I first started, right, there was no DJ telling me what tracks were being played in the clubs. There was no DJ telling me what good warm up tracks there were, what main track main set tracks there are. So I'm just trying to help out and like. I literally put a sale on my um my store this weekend. So I think it ends tonight. So before it was, you pay £25 and you get a list of every single track um in my library. And the sale that's been going on since Friday, you can get all that for £9.99. Like you can get all these tracks for £9.99. Um, yeah, so... If you want to get like literally the sale ends tonight in it. So by when it hits 12 o'clock, um, the price will go back up to 25 pounds. So if you want to catch all these tracks, get them for 9.99 an hour in it. Um let me let me see. You wouldn't happen to have old school hip hop instrumentals from like the eighties and nineties. I like doing blends. Do I have do you know what? I've got instrumentals somewhere. Um, I think I've got them on my hard drive. Let me double check that. And then DJ QQ message me Thursday and I'll let you know in it. I, 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 I'll, I'll send you over. Like, I'll put them on my Google drive and I'll share them with you in it. Like just, but don't like quote me on that. Cause I can't remember if my hard drive actually even works anymore. Like my, this is my old, old hard drive in it. Um, but yeah. Oh God. Right. R and B. So we're gonna fly through these now, people, because um, yeah, I need to go to bed. <laughs> so R and B. So I've got all 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 R and B, slow R and B, and new R and B. Um, self explanatory. Um, let me see. Uh, sorry, that's what I thought. Because when I get paid, I'm going to get it. All right, I'll see if I can get it tonight. Then, uh, Coben, if you want to get the, the the cell, you know, hit me up. Hit me up. I'll, I'll sort you out in it. Like any anyone that's in this live stream that want to get the crates at a cheaper price or whatever, just hit me up. If you can't happen to get it tonight, hit me up. If you're in this live stream, I'll give you discount. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I'll, 
I'll give you a discount. Like you're you're showing love by being in this live stream. I'll hook you up in it. I'll hook you up. Right. Let's blast through these. So Soka, um, self-explanatory. Um, self-explanatory. Um, I was gonna say, sorry. Uh, so I, I keep getting lost of thought. So Soka, big up King D on this one. King D gave me a Spotify playlist of all the um, the Soka tracks that he likes and feels like they will work in Walkabout. I downloaded them all, yeah. And so this week, I'm gonna go through these Soka tracks and try to learn them and see which tracks bang and um, play them in my sets, man. Because I feel like now in Walkabout, yeah, Soka can be added to my sets now. And the thing is, the problem I had this Saturday, so I had all these tracks on Saturday, but I didn't know any of them. I knew some, but I couldn't play them all. So this week I'm gonna go through them and then hopefully next week I'm gonna play some um play some soca man. Um old school R and B and hip hop. Um I'm not gonna go through all this, but this is just self explanatory. Um old school R and B, old school R and B hip hop, um slow jams, Kanye West, Eminem, cleaning up my closet, stuff like that. Um send that to me. My soca folder has five songs. Shock. Hit me up after this, man. You can have all these tunes. All these tunes. Um, Kobe, uh, Kobe and O'Brien, what record pool do you use? Um, heavy hits. Um, use code DJCB for the first month for $4.99. Um, yeah, you can just use that. Um, you can go check out the record pool. The record pool's sick. I've done a showcase of the record pool last week. Check my recent live stream and you can see everything um on that um record pool so the reason why i've done that record pool was to give you an insight of what's actually on there because obviously in order to see it you need to pay for it but i've just given you insider knowledge <laughs> i've given you an inside guide on heavy hits before you go and pay your money for it in it so yeah go check out that live stream um yeah so old school r&b and hip-hop drum and bass bunch of drum and bass tunes um I only really play like six. <laughs> um, drum and bass father, gold dust tour, uh, no excuses, afterglow. Um, yeah, there's a few in here that I would never play. Go your party, or, go your party animal DMB remix. <sighs> um, boxing. So, like I said, walkabouts a sports club. Uh, uh, sorry, a sports bar. Um, so there's a lot of boxing events like when they when like Anti Joshua playing uh, when Anti Joshua is boxing Tyson Tyson Fury um, all them lot um, they normally have boxing events so I'll just play some of these tracks in here so you've got like some of the hype songs like Pow Look Alive Man's Not Hot Game Over oh my god remember this tune Game Game Over Tinchy Strider and Gigs bang up um, yeah so same with football um, especially when the World Cup's on and like the Euros are on then. Got to play these tracks here. Lovers Rock. Um, I normally play this at the end of my sets of Walkabouts. So all like your Barris Hammond tunes. Um, love these tracks here, man. Bunch of Barris Hammond tunes, boy. They know what? Bangers. Bangers. Um, reggae. Do you know what? I haven't given this crate enough love. Um, yeah, I need to I need to go through all this, man. But there's some tunes in here. But I, just, I, haven't, I, just, I haven't had the need to play reggae. So, um, yeah. Wedding, I'm working on this crate. Shock will probably beat me up for this crate, but like, yeah, I've just got like cheesy, cheesy wedding tracks. Mysterious Girl, Mr. Brightside, Wonderwall, um, and all this stuff, yeah. Um, 80s music, um, this is, this is for like um, all your weddings and stuff. And like, I need to actually sort this out like i do i do wedding the thing the, re the reason why i'm not really sorting out these crates too much and they've all got build next to them is because i don't do that many weddings so i just don't feel the need to organize these crates there's no urgency in it but then what will happen is like the week before i do a private booking or a, a wedding i'll start to i'll start to panic i'll start to panic i'm like oh my god i gotta download all these cheap like i gotta sort out this cheese music and stuff like yeah i just i just like yeah i need to i need to sort these out um cheese music latin music i've only started recently building this do you know what right do you know what's, you know what's funny right and all the all you lot from the u.s are gonna laugh like you see bad bunny yeah 
I don't think I've got a single Bad Bunny tune. I'm, I, might, I might be wrong. Actually, Mia. Oh, interesting. Do you know what, right? Bad Bunny is spoken about so much, yeah, on Twitter and everything else, yeah. Um, and I just, I just don't, I just don't listen to Bad Bunny that much. I, I, I don't have any Bad Bunny tunes, but I feel like I need to get it. I need to get all these. I need to get all this Bad Bunny stuff. Um, he uses heavy hits. I think there's a link in his bio. That Soka Crate is all club bangers. You're good to play it. Um, all these songs on your website crates. How often do you update the crates on the website? Uh, Jar Guide. So I update I update them every now and again. Um, but the problem is it, it it takes me a long time to build them all them um them them spreadsheets. So I don't do them as often as I should. But the stuff that's on there. Um, it doesn't like they, they don't change that much. So like, obviously, I add new songs every week, but like the crates on the site have the core tracks. Like you're not you're not gonna have necessarily all the latest tracks on there, but you're gonna have the tracks that will help you build your music library. Like all like it has all the tracks from 2000 and well, 1990 all the way until 2022, but you might not have October's latest tracks and September's latest tracks. You know what I mean? But when it goes into 2023. I'll do a massive refresh and I'll re-upload it to the uh, the site in it. <sighs> Kiri saxophone. So I play with um, Kiri Sax, uh, bad boy saxophonist. Um, so when I DJ with him, he has a bunch of tracks that he likes playing on the saxophone. So I just play them alongside him. Christmas, 10 tunes. I did have 200. You know, like I downloaded all the, now this is, Christmas volume one, two, three, four, ten, twenty. Like I had all of them. Then I was thinking to myself, I've got like four or five gigabytes here yeah, of Christmas music. Why? <laughs> like, you know, when it's Christmas, like me, when it when, when it's Christmas time, I don't really play Christmas tracks like that in the club. Like, I think the most I'll play is all I want for Christmas. Um, and that's it. Like I do play some of these. It depends where I am in it. But like in my venue, I'll only play Mariah Carey. All I all I want for Christmas is you. Um, so I just deleted them all. And I just kept the ten top tracks that I feel like like um, I'll need. Scratching. I just have this one track. So this is just a scratch sample. So if you see up here, oh, I just have all the all the cue points. This is, this is this when I want to just practice scratching. I just use this Motown. Um, big up shock for hooking me up with this crate because um, I needed this. Um, but yeah, this just this is good for like weddings and private parties and stuff. Um, and we've got Jungle. <laughs> got two tracks in here. <laughs> um, and then lounge music as well. I got this uh, for a. Um, I, 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 I've done a booking in London and they wanted me to play lounge music so they provided me with the music and I've just kept this um, yeah there's some crates underneath here before, um, as well but we can get into them if, if you really want me to go through them I can go through them um, let me go through some of these comments actually um, what time is it now buddy I've been on here for two right let's do another 15 minutes then we'll be on we'll be live for two and a half hours Jesus Christ um, let's have a look um, where's included? I've DJed for years and stopped DJing. Sorry, sorry, I DJ for year then stopped. Then DJ CV started channel, got back into it, bro. That's sick, man. Like honestly, any advice you need, hit me up. Not not sure. It's not seen how you do you do smart crates. I can literally show you in a minute. Actually, uh, Mia is a rhythm big tune. I'm the same about the Bad Bunny. Honestly, like I'm so clueless on Bad Bunny. Like. I just have no idea. <laughs> uh, DJ Chalice, what's good, bro? I'm all good. He's played heavy out here in New York. Oh, yeah, Bad Bunny. Do you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna get some Bad Bunny. I'm gonna get some Bad Bunny, man. Like, actually, you know what? I might go on Spotify and actually listen to some Bad Bunny, and then start downloading some Bad Bunny. Um, remember to add Belando to that Latin crate. Will do, bro. There should be more DJ that do this with their fans. Keep up the good work, bro. Appreciate it, man. Do you know what? Like, I'm just trying to do something a bit different in it. Like, I just literally just want to just 
connect with you lot. Like obviously you lot hit me up on Instagram, you lot like my content and stuff like that, you like my videos, but like being on here and being able to talk to talk with you lot. Like like listen, I've I've spent two hours online talking to you guys, man, because I want to connect with my audience, you know what I mean? So and I'm also just here to ask any 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 questions you lot have, hit me up. Hit me up, man. Like I'm happy to give advice. Like um yeah, I'll send you some jungle. I'm OV, appreciate it, bro. Really appreciate appreciate the hoarders video as it is really true. <laughs> Do you know what? That video got so much attention, man. It was it was jokes. Are you doing a Black Friday sale? Do you know what? When is Black Friday? November 24th. Yeah, I can do that. I might do a sick sale as well. So I might do like a 24 hour thing in it. A 24 hour sale where literally, and I might even put like a limit on it, like how many people could buy it. I might just do a mad sale and put like the first hundred people can get this or whatever in it. But yeah, Whew. right. So we have just come. We come. Uh, well, I'll come to the end of the comments. Um, is there anything else anyone wants to ask before I start closing this um, this off? Um, how often do you post mixes online, Ricardo James? I post mixes online. I want to say I do at least once a month. I don't do them often. I used to do so many mixes. I used to put so many mixes on Mixcloud. But I feel like the whole mix, mix cloud and mix SoundCloud thing has just got saturated now. It's so hard to build your name on Mixcloud and SoundCloud anymore. Like, I don't know. Like, obviously, if you guys want more mixes from me, then let me know in it. But I do... The, the mixes that I put up on my my um my my live sets. So I play um at my residency every single Saturday, and I play for six hours. I will record the entire six hours, and then I'll post it online. So let me let me just go on my mix cloud now. Oops, mix cloud. Um, and I'll go to my profile. So. If you lot go into here, let me pin this. So if you want to check out any of my live mixes, um, check that out. But basically, I put up live mixes to help you guys figure out how to structure a set. Like, I'm not going to say I'm like the best DJ in the world, but I know how to... Um, I know how to structure a set. I know, You know what? I know how to play for six hours. I know how to play... 300 tracks and keep a dance floor packed you know what i mean so if you want to listen and get some tips feel free um defo shots show smart crates okay so ammo v so basically obviously in 2023 everything's a lot complicated but like in say for genre, in for example genres everything in here is a smart crate um and i feel like every dj if you've got so i guarantee Actually, you know what? I can pretty much put money on this, right? I guarantee every single one of you has a crate like this. All right. R&B. Hip hop. Yeah. Trap. And then in order to update all these, yeah, you've got to go into your tracks, you grab the track, you pull it in. You, you add a new song in, you're like, yep, yeah, all right, let me put it into hip hop. You get a new song and you got to do this every single week, every single day. But instead of doing that, why don't you just build smart crates? Because it will just do it all for you. Like, what? Well, I've got an R&B crate here. And if I go to edit, the genre is R&B. As long as R&B is in the genre column, it's coming into this crate. So... I don't know. It just this just makes so much more sense to me. Like, why would you make individual like a a, a manual R and B crate when you can just make a R and B crate as a smart crate? Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Yeah. So then I just have the same for dancehall, cheese, I'm a piano. So if I go into here, go to edit genre is I'm a piano, um, dancehall genre is dancehall. But the thing with me, I went through my entire music library. And every single track has a genre. So if I go to all and I go to genre, right? If I scroll down, 
If I keep going, keep going, like, you see this? There's a genre for every single track. House, Motown, R&B, keep going, still here. I hope you lot can see. <laughs> still going, still going, still going. And then at the bottom here are just a bunch of my, like, missing recordings. And that's it. Like, there's two what? There's two tracks without a genre. And then the rest are just missing tracks. So I can literally just delete them. Command, shift, delete. And they're gone. So every track in here, <laughs> do you know what I mean? I have, I have um, the genre in here. So I can make these genre crates. Like, I think with some of you guys in, in, the, um, in the chat, you probably haven't got your, um, your metadata up to date like I have. But because I have it like this, I can have my genre crates in it. Um, yeah, man. Like this is this, but this is this. I I've been working on this for like I'd say five years. I'm still like I'm at a point where I don't have to update my music library that often anymore, and I don't have to change anything because I've got it perfect to how I want it. But don't get me wrong. Past five years, I've been on it constantly. I I would, I'll go on my library every single night from like 10 to 11, 10 to 12, and I'll just be in there trying to organize this, that, and this, and that. And I was like, yeah. But I'm done now. I'm, I'm finally at a place that I like, and I'm at a place where I can show you what I have to try and help you lot out in it. And then one last quote that I'll go through is history sets, yeah? Um, ben Solomon, you are correct. Great app, that is. Um, history sets, right? Say, for example, you've just DJed, um... You've just DJed. Go into your history up here and then go to the date that you just DJed. What you can do is you can open this up and you can bring all these tracks. So say, for example, I know this is, this is a bad example because there's not that many in here, but I can highlight all these tracks and I can move it down to here and I can name this crate um, the best set and then put the date, 1st November. So then the reason why I do this is say, for example, right, you're DJing, you're maybe not having a good set, you're maybe not having a good day. Why you can just go into this crate here and see all the tracks that you played last week or last month and it can help you get back on track. Like the amount of times I've been DJing and I've just not really felt myself, I'm not concentrating properly. I've jumped into these crates and I'll be like, you know what, I played this last week, so I'm gonna play these tracks for about, 10, 15 minutes, get myself back on track, then I can go back to my crates. But these are just history sets of just going back and just it just gives you a little bit of help um, if you're just not feeling great that night. Like being a DJ, you can't be 100% every single week. You're tired. If you've got like four bookings in a week, you're tired, yeah? So build, so create a crate called history sets. If you happen to be struggling one night, jump into your history set, go to one from last week, order it by number and then you can come down to where you are in the night. So you might be at warm up, you might be at dance or you might be at main set and you can be like, okay, all right. So I'm around about here. Let me play Fotiana. Let me play my type. Let me do all this. Then I've played these tracks. I've got back on the track and now let me go back into my crates and then go from there. Um, yeah. So that's, that's history sets. That's, that's the last one. That's the last thing I'll talk about. Huh. <sighs> Right, <laughs> flip it out. I just rambled on for two and a half hours. Um, so yeah, so people, we're at two minutes. Sorry, what two minutes? We're at two hours and twenty four. Right, we've had forty people constantly through this entire live stream, and I love that. Love it. So we got six minutes right before I lock it off. I'm going to cut it off at two and a half hours. Does anyone have any questions? Um, and then I'm going to answer these questions that I've just seen. Um, damn, I need to get to work and organize this. Ammo V, it's just a work in progress, right? It's a work in progress. You don't have to do it today. You don't have to do it tonight. You don't have to get it finished tonight. It's just like, just do a bit by bit. Like even if you spend an hour a day, mate, no, not even an hour, half an hour a day. Like before you, uh, before you open your laptop, actually, you know what? Do this, right? On a Sunday, open up your library. And just brain dump everything that you think you need to fix. Oh, I need to add genres for these 50 tracks. I need to I need to create this crate. I need to create this crate, whatever. Write it all down. And then when it comes to Monday, 8 p.m., open up your library, pick one thing from that list and do it. That's it. Just do one thing. 
and then close your laptop and then do the next thing the next day and the next day. And the next thing you know, you'll get a week on and you've just got a more organized library. Like, organizing your music library sounds long because you have 10,000 tracks, but it doesn't have to be long. You can just do bit by bit. Like, you know what they say, like Rome wasn't built in a day. Like your music library ain't going to be um, built in a day. Like ain't going to be built in a day, man. Like, honestly, like you just do it bit by bit. Just chip chip at it and eventually you'll get your music library to how you want it. But the main thing, the main thing all of you need to do with your music library, yeah? Open it up on a Sunday. Have a look at it and be like, okay, I need to write this down. I, I, I need to fix this, write it down. I need to also fix this, write it down. This, 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 write it all down. Then you're gonna have a list of things that you need to fix in your music library. Keep that list open when you open up your Serato the next day and you're gonna be like, you're gonna pick one from the list, yeah? Then one, it might be like, add years to all hip hop tracks, yeah? Sit down for two hours or sit down for one hour um, and just do that. Do that straight. When you finish that, close your laptop, move on, to, and then the next day will come. Move on to the next task. The next task, the next day, you might be like, move. Um, sorry, separate hip hop tracks into um, old school and new school. You do that for an hour. Close your laptop, open it again, and go to the next day. Like, don't ha- don't overwhelm yourself with trying to do everything at once. Because I know all of you are going to look at your music library like, oh, I need to do so much. Oh, there's too much to do. No. Open up your music library on a Sunday, write down everything you need to do and just chip at it day by day. Um, music Brains Picard. Um, I learned that from CB. Um, yeah, Music Brains Picard is a solid program. Um, isn't it so cozy to be organized? I love it. I'm so relaxed now. I'm organized. Do you back up your Serato folder? One thing I do is back up the, the library folder and put it on our... Yeah, so um, Amov. I actually... I back up my entire music folder on my Mac. So if you look at files here, you see here, I don't know if you look and see, but this folder here gets backed up to my Google Drive. So this, my Google Drive is watching this folder. So any changes I make, it will get uploaded to the cloud. Um... And then also, I also moved these folders onto my SSD. I've got two SSDs. I moved them over and then that's it. So they're all backed up. It's just nice and easy. You pick it up, drag it over. Um, yeah. What else we got? Golden tip. Can you give a rundown about that software you mentioned? Um, Carlos M, search for Music Brains Picard on my channel. I've got, a vid- I've got two videos on it. Um, so I'll give you all the, all the information on that. How do you balance finding and adding new music versus practicing and getting familiar with your current library? Oh, what a question. Right. Um, right. How do I balance? It's all about planning um, your week. Like for me, I think I'm a little bit different to other DJs. I have so much going on. Like obviously I've got DJing, I've got a full-time job. Um, I've got the YouTube to run. Um, got a kid. Do you know what I mean? Like I got, I got a lot of stuff going on. So with me, it's a bit different. I have to literally plan my week to put, fit all this stuff in. But what I would say is find the balance to add new music. So stick to just adding new music on a Friday. So dedicate an hour, two hours on a Friday to go and download all your new music. Literally open up all your record pools, go in, download all your music, add them to your library, and then you're good to go. Because I know some of you, like, you might add music throughout the week. It just gets long. Make one dedicated day to add music to your music library and you'll be good. Um, Practicing. um, Pick a day again. Pick an hour. Do you know what? You only really need to practice for, like, an hour or maybe two hours. But dedicate a day. So, for me, on, like, like this, this Wednesday... I've decided like uh, around about lunchtime, I'm going to just jump on my decks for about an hour and a half and just practice, like practice some transitions and practice some new stuff and blah, blah, blah. Um, you, you know what it is? You just need to just put the time, you need to put, you need to find the time and just do it. Like, do you know what? Do you know what a good example I will say to you lot? Yeah. I'm not even a good example. A good thing, a thing I'm going to say to you lot. Look at your phone and look at your phone screen time. I guarantee it's between five and six hours, right? Chop off two hours of that and go DJ for two hours and I guarantee you'll become a better DJ. 
Like we don't need to be on our phones in it. Do you know what I mean? So put the phone down, jump on your decks for two hours, save that screen time and become a better DJ. Because if you're not practicing, yeah, you're getting left behind, I feel. If you're not upgrading your skills and getting better as a DJ, you're getting left behind in it. So put the phone down, jump on them decks and yeah, just get better. Um, so yeah, Sakajin uh, Genesis, basically it's just all about planning. Monday, um, Monday, no, sorry, Wednesday, practice on your decks, Friday, download new music and then getting familiar with your current library, just going out and DJing, I feel like if you're, if you're not in the clubs yet, just DJ every single, um, every day or whatever and pretend you're in a club, pretend you're doing opening set, pretend you're warming up for a crowd, pretend you're, you're warming up for the ladies, pretend you're doing main set and eventually you'll just get it into your head that, okay, this is where the, these tracks live or this is, this, this is where these tracks live in it. This, yeah, that's, that's, that's my little bit of advice in it. We still working with Serato DJ 3.0. I am, yeah. Actually, am I in this one? I don't. I think I'm in my old version of this one. Um, good advice. How how to do with my external hard drive? How to DJ with my external hard drive alone? I want to do with someone's laptop with my external. How to DJ with my external? Oh, so how do you DJ? So say how do you just have your external hard drive and plug it into someone else's? Um. What you can do is, I think, do you know what? Literally, I think, have I got a USB here? Oh, God. Oh. I can show you, actually. I think, if I plug my USB into here. Oh, what you can do is say for example you wanted to move you wanted to use this crate here so house i think what you can do is pick it up drag it over to the the um the hard drive oh it's gonna crash my computer <laughs> um is this gonna work is this gonna work yeah so then what you can do is pick it up drag it over to the hard drive and then if you click copy it will copy that crate to that hard drive. Sorry, it will copy that crate to that USB. So when you take this USB or external hard drive and plug it into someone else's, it will load that crate. So let me, do you know what? Let me try it. So if I go into R&B, click this, move that and press copy. Yeah, so you see here now, the location, I don't know if you're not going to see this, but the location of this track, oh, hang on. You see here now, I've now got two tracks in here. One on the the um the hard drive, one on the USB, and one on the um on my computer. Now, if I take this USB out, right, that track now disappears. Now look, I've got the USB. I'm now gonna go to my new set. I'm, I'm now gonna go to my set and um DJ on someone else's laptop. I'm gonna plug it back in. And now the crate appears back, and now the track appears back again. So yeah, that's how it works. Um, I think. Let me try. Let me try this. So if I take this out, and then if I delete this R and B crate, if I plug this back in again, that R and B crate should appear. Yeah. So you see there. So now when I take this USB stick and I go to another person's laptop and plug it in, my crates on this USB will appear. Did that answer your question, Varen? I hope that I hope that's a little that's a good tip for you guys as well. <sighs> right. So we come to the end of the questions. Um if no one else has got anything to kind of go through then I'm going to lock off the live stream. I appreciate everyone that's been in. We've had 30 to 40 people the entire time, man, which has been sick. Um, so yeah. Um, any other questions? What I'll do is I'll leave it for two, two minutes. This might be a daft question, but if I get a DJ live, can I use Tidal? Is that not allowed because of copyright? 
if I get a DJ live, do you mean if you get to DJ live, can you use title? Yeah, you can. But if if you're out DJing in front of people, you can use title. Um, it's not it's not it's not against copyright because you're subscribed to title, so all the copyright stuff isn't a problem in it. So you're all good. You're good. Oh boy, right people. Oh, we've been online for two and a half hours, boy. Oh, God, I think this is my longest live stream ever, but I think this is my biggest live stream as well, man. Like 40 people in this whole entire time. It's crazy. Um, but you have to save the song on your, on your external or could you just move it from Soraya? Um, so, Varun, you need to have the track on your hard drive, obviously, in it. So when you do the copy, it actually moves the track onto your hard drive as well. So, um, yeah. So it moves the Serato crate and it moves the track onto the hard drive. So, yeah, you're good. You're good. Right. So I hope um, you lot got a bit of information out of this. Obviously, if you came in late, um, you can rewatch this. By the time, so once I finish this, as soon as I lock off this live stream in about two minutes, um, it's going to be on my channel live so you can watch it back. Um, it's quite long. So obviously, you can watch it in sections and stuff. Um, yeah, Derek Battle, that's fine, bro. Like literally, like I said, it's gonna be um, it's gonna be live on my channel in the next five minutes. So um, yeah, King D, appreciate it, man. Appreciate it, bro. Um, I'll just plug a few things. So yeah, if you want a new record pool, um, use Heavy Hits. Um, yeah, Kendall D, um, you can check it out. You can check it out after this. Um, I'm going to post it on my channel. So Heavy Hits, um, if you want to get your first month for $4.99, um, use the code DJCB. Obviously, after the first month, it goes up to $24.99. But obviously, if you don't like the record pool, you can cancel it any time. But I guarantee you will like it. If you want to showcase, um, if you want to showcase, uh, if you want to see what's on the record pool before paying the $4.99, check my last live stream from last week. Um yeah if you want to get all my crates not the mp3s but a list of all the tracks and all the crates that i have in this video today check the link in the description down below um if you catch it before 12 o'clock uk time you can get it for 9.99 if not it will go up to 25 pounds but because you're in this live stream if you're in this live stream and you want to get it cheaper and you can't happen to buy it before tonight hit me up tomorrow and i'll give you a discount code to get it cheaper um so yeah, hit me up on Instagram. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you got DJCB uh, there and you've got the Twitter there. I post a lot of stuff on Twitter. A lot of good conversations with DJs happen on Twitter. I put a tweet up, like for example, I put a tweet up saying um, like, why why do DJs need to DJ off a Mac? A lot of comments went on in there. So like I start a lot of discussions on Twitter. So feel free to follow me on Twitter um, and Instagram. Um, if you want 5,000 free sound effects, check the link in the description, uh, description down below. Um, I know how hard it is and how long it is to find sound effects as a DJ. So um, yeah, if you want 5,647, I think the exact number is, uh, check the link in the description down below. Um, so who we got? So sorry, missed most of it. Would you be posting it live? Yep, this was a great session. No worries, Ben. No problem. Amov, I appreciate. Amov, I appreciate the five pound you sent to me, man. I really appreciate that, bro. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, do you have any old DJ equipment you want to give away? I have one CDJ at the bottom, but I can't give that away. Um, but over the next, so I'm gonna hit ten thousand subscribers in November. I might do a giveaway. I might do a giveaway. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to give away, but we need to do something special for the 10K subs, man. But yeah. Um, you does listen to Soka. Varun, I do this, listen to Soka. Uh, thanks for the stream power. Appreciate the advice. Coben, no problem, bro. Um, no problem. Bless with L's DJ. Appreciate it. Yeah, people, you know what? Thank you very much for tuning into the live. I'm here every Monday. I'm going to try to do this every Monday. Um, Next week, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to showcase, but I'll come with a brand new idea um, to like come connect with you. If not, I'll just come online and just do a QA, and a just answer all your questions and stuff. But yeah, um, that's it, people. We've been, on, we've been live for two hours and 40 minutes, boy. New record on the channel. Um, 
And we still got 36 people in the, in the channel, man. It's sick. It's so sick. But yeah, if you've just joined late, uh, what's going uh Warris, I can't even speak. Warris, what's good, bro? Um, bro, 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 hey, I'm OV, man. You're the guy. <laughs> oh, my days. I'm OV, man. Nah, I appreciate it, man. Bro, you just sent me £10. Bro, this, oh, I love YouTube, man. I love the community, man. Listen, like, people, this is what I'm doing now, man. Like, I'm just helping out all the brand new DJs, man. Just any, anyone that has any issues with DJing, they want to learn something, they want, um, they want some crates. If you want like a single song, like just hit me up, man. Like I'm, I'm always available. I'm going to go through all my DMs, um, at the weekend and just reply back to everyone that replies back to me. And, um, yeah, man, I appreciate it, man. I'm OV again, man. Nah, you're the guy, bro. For like, honestly, I really appreciate it, man. Um, but yeah, people, um, if you have any other questions, feel free to hit me up on Instagram um, and anything like that, man. Honestly, again, you know what? Everyone big up Ammo V in the chat, man. Ammo V. Um, Varun, yeah, check the link in the description. Um, I've got a bunch of uh, free crates, but, but they're CSV files and stuff like that. But if you check some of my videos, um, there's a bunch of videos that have a lot of free tracks included in, in them. Go check them out, man. But yeah, people, I appreciate it. See, everyone, all the 32 people, all the 33 people that are still in here, man, I appreciate you lot. You lot have been here um, literally through the whole time, man. So I appreciate it. Varun, um, message me on Instagram. Do that right there now. There now. Um, but yeah, again, people, this is going to be posted on my channel in the next five minutes. So if you need to go watch it back, go watch it back. But yeah, appreciate it, people. Um, I'm logging off for tonight. I'm going to go get a drink because my mouth is so dry. I'm going to go chill. Might play some PlayStation for a little bit and then I'm going to chill, man. But yeah, to everyone, to the 30 people that's in here, man, I appreciate it. And I'll catch you next week.